now at 806-373-5761. And as always, go Falcons. Well, hello, everyone. Welcome to uh, the Bush and Falcon broadcast tonight as uh, we are in Muleshoe, Texas, sitting outside again, but <laughs> covered this time. It is covered, which is nice because there is a storm. I hear that it is nice. It's getting nice and chilly in Bushland right now. And so Jamie and Ryder Grace are home. And when Ryder Grace puts on a sweatshirt, you know that it is cold outside because that girl will roll in the snow for hours. And so it's not here yet, though, because we came it's prepared, not. and now we, we both shed our over shirts. Yeah, we, we've got other shirts to put on a little bit later, assuming. Now, Mark and I have been in here when it was cold. I mean, it was like gloves on, coat on, pretty pretty darn chilly, but uh, not so tonight for sure. So, I think two years ago when we were here, it was freezing cold. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Did we see, And we were up here, too, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Just a can. Yeah, never mind. This is my first time to a mule shoe press box. And it was right. nice and chilly. Yeah, so we've definitely had some games here. You know, when, when you're playing a little past midway of the season, you're playing here, you know, it can definitely uh, be chilly. I tell you, they've got a nice. We can uh, get a shot of that here in a minute uh, of their new, I guess it's their new athletic facility, training. I guess. Training. And, I, and I was told today, well, this afternoon when I was on Lance's show, there is a two-lane track in there as well. Oh, really? And so they not only is it just football, but it is across all sports. He said the band uses it like it is an all facility, but it also has track facilities inside the indoor, which is pretty incredible. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Well, I'll tell you what, Stephen, this game, uh, Muleshoe comes in. Boy, when's the last time they were ranked number 10 in the state by Dave Campbell's, right? It's been a little while. Now, here's what people, especially if you're new to Bushland, you may not know. Muleshoe historically has had some yeah, really yeah, good yeah. teams. Now, they haven't been as good recently, but historically, Muleshoe has some history here. And so Coach Richards has restored this program. And you know it's good because we look across, there's media over at about the 20 on their side. They're set up down here in the end zone with their you know live streams and so this is a big game here in the panhandle yeah and it's it's uh you know uh, there's been a lot of talk about this game already you know it's uh the lubbock papers picked it up and we've picked it up and uh dave campbell's has picked it up so this will be an interesting test for both teams i think uh this will be i think the first big test for mule shoe uh based on their schedule uh, and, and Bushland's already been tested. And, you know, we, we, we've had some pretty tough games already this year, yes, uh, to absolutely. say the least. And if you didn't... 59 to nothing at halftime. I think the yard disparity, if I remember, was like 595 to 20. We knew it early watching that. Yeah, we saw it. <laughs> and we, we spotted Canadian 35 points. It started to gel, and people are starting to get into their, I'd say, settle in their spot last week. And the one thing I really wanted to see is, number one, did we spread the ball around a little bit more? Yeah, well, well, Tanner Adams. You know, <laughs> it had kind of been Cade Cavinia uh, a lot, but boy, we, but it wasn't just Tanner Adams. I mean, we spread the ball to, I think, three or four different receivers in the game. I think we counted five different running backs or six in yeah. the game. Uh, with West, West Plains, he brought just into the game at the time. Not to say that. He's the best back on the field. He was the best back on the field at that time for Absolutely. us. And that's what I really like to see out of a team. And, and I think we're, we, we've seen that over the last three weeks. Well, and you can even look to the third, second half of last week, third quarter. We only played, you know, a little less than three quarters. And Easton Fuentes, when he gets in the game and he's running downhill, you talk about, I mean, he took a, what, 35-yard touchdown run. There's just such a disparity. Started the game against Riverside, pitching the ball to uh, Max Rodriguez off the edge, which is lightning fast. Here's a yeah. guy that was on the 4 by one that was a silver medal 4 by one in the state last year. And then you can combine it with a guy like Fetch, who is quick and tough. I mean, you, he, the first guy's not – first contact does not bring Jackson Fetch to the ground. And then you have Easton Fuentes, who I would not want to stand in front of when he's running full speed at me. He's probably 225 and just – but he also is a 100-meter dash sprinter come track season. And so right. it, it, it just he is a freight train running downhill. And when you have that kind of just 
skill sets and the, at your disposal with an offensive mind like Coach Reynolds, it's going to be fun to see what he does here through district as we wind into the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, it definitely will. So if, if you don't know, so Muleshoe is coming in here undefeated. They're 6-0. and That is they correct. Are averaging over. Now, you can argue, have, have they really faced anybody yet? You know, we scrimmaged Friona. We thought Friona was a really good football team. Uh, they, put, they beat Friona 48-28, and there, there's obviously a little turmoil in Friona. Uh, their coach today resigned this morning. He was asked, I guess, by the student superintendent to resign, and he did. And so as we pass through Friona, my heart just hurt for the community and the team. As you just never want to see that midseason for a team. But that's probably been their toughest game on out of everybody because they've played to, the last three have been Tulia, Abernathy, and Brownfield. And I think combined total, they have three wins on the season. Yeah, yeah. And you're talking their, their opponent's record's 12 and 20, uh, if you look at that. But again... Once you hit district play, you get to start over because records really don't matter until you hit district play. And, you know, rankings are rankings. If you go look at max preps, I think they may have us at number six. I've heard I didn't go look uh, on max preps. And then Dave Campbell's has, I don't know where we're at on Dave Campbell's. Campbell. 12, Milshu's 10. There so you go. So close. Top 12 teams. You know, but it you play the game to play the game. I could care less about rankings because when in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't mean anything. So... Uh, until you play. So we're excited to get this underway tonight. I tell you, it's it, kind of sun came back out. It was kind of cloudy for a little bit. Got a little sun back out. Uh, we'll give you a little uh, a preview of where things look like. Beautiful field here in Muleshoe. And it's a, you're going to see a lot of pink tonight as it is the pink out game here for Muleshoe. So you can start seeing them roll in over there. So, Stephen, what Something do you think? Something neat that I didn't know. What's that? They have a pre-game meal, like a community meal at, before home games. Oh. And so the junior class hosts a pre-game meal. So you'll look across right now, and the stadium looks like sparse. You know, by this time in Bushland, you've already started to see a packed house. It's a little less because everybody's at the pre-game meal that the junior class does. So pretty cool little thing they do here in Milshoe. Made me want to go over and have dinner. <laughs> That's great. Well, Stephen, what do you think? If you look at the the offense that the offense needs to focus on. Well, obviously, the weapons at DJ's disposal. I mean, when you have Tanner Adams, Kate Gavinia, Stratton Malloy, Max Rodriguez, I mean, and we've ran through some of the running backs. There's just a lot of weapons for DJ. We just got to keep DJ upright. If we give him time, and if we can establish some of that run um, here, we know we're dropping a couple packets here, and so Chris is going to work on the internet here. Muleshoe does not have in-house internet, so we have the Starlink. Learned. So, uh, which is kind of hard. To yeah, it is. So we'll see if we can't pick that up a little bit. But, and then, yeah, so offensively, you, you, you got, you've got the weapons at DJ's disposal. If we can keep DJ upright, give him time, he's going to pick apart just about any defense. You want to see the running game get a little more consistent because there are times where it has really looked good, and then there's times where we haven't looked as good. And then, obviously, defensively, we, we, have, we did not do as well. Coming into, El, into Seminole against El Paso Riverside, We'd begun to see us living in the backfield again, like we had years, and we still have the talent there. It's the same. It's a lot of the same faces. It's Austin Ryder. It's Easton Fuentes. It's Charlie Pitt. We just need to see them in the backfield a little bit more, especially tonight, because you want to stop this running game before it gets running downhill. And so, if, if we let Milshu get some momentum, they're, they're, they 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 dashed up some pretty good defenses so far this year with their run game. Okay. Well, if I think of the defense, you know, keys, I think we got to stop the run. Uh, that's number one tonight. Number two, uh, no jumping off sides. I knew that was coming. I'm shocked that wasn't your number one. It should have been my number one. It's everybody's <laughs> pet peeve, but Chris being a, a defensive guy, he's like, ah, oh. I quit jumping, look down at the ball. It drives me crazy. Uh, so, yes, that's uh, – in fact – 
my uh, the guy I coached with out, out in Arizona when we coached at the, the Christian school out there. He called me this week. He said, how's it going? And I was like, man, I'm glad they're not my defensive line. He goes, why? I said, they're jumping off sides. He goes, oh, you hate that. So I <laughs> thought that was pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, so I think that's my number two. Uh, and number three, uh, call some turnovers. Get some defensive points tonight. Uh, I'd love to see the defense score uh, score tonight, and I think uh, that'll be a big turning point. And, and do it early. You know, I, uh, if I had to put a fourth key, I'd say stop stop them on their first drive. Uh, that'll set the tone for the rest of the game and for the offense. Go score on your first drive. You know, that that really sets a big tone. So, well, you know what we haven't seen this year is a score. find some big lightning plays on special teams and we need to open district with. Yeah, shout out to uh, Contractors Wholesale. Talked to Nathan today, actually, via text. But uh, in the pregame, our halftime, and our postgame show, really appreciate that. He's been with Nathan us. Nathan just likes to hear us talk. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, give me, this, give me the talking parts of y'all. Yeah, he, uh, he's been with us for a while, so we truly appreciate that. So... Okay, so give us a minute. I'm going to take a few minutes. Uh, we're going to give you a field view and uh, go on mute for a little bit. We'll see if we can solve what's going on. We'll be right back. Contractors Wholesale is a proud sponsor of the Bushland Falcons. Nathan Bixell over at Contractors Wholesale, they specialize in residential door cabinet hardware, wallpaper and fabric, cabinet drawers, hinges, screws, wood filler, and whatever you need to handle those big project jobs. Give Contractors Wholesale a call at 806-373-5761. And as always, go Falcons. All right, so uh, we paused for a minute. We're back. Hopefully, uh, this is going to be better. Uh, we made a few uh, technical adjustments, so we'll see if that works for you. Hey, shout out to Muleshoe with their pregame prayer live here in the stadium. Student led. S student led, yeah, absolutely. All right, we are uh, third. 14 minutes, we'll call it, roughly uh, from kickoff here in uh, Muleshoe. Falcons coming in 5-1. and one. Muleshoe sporting a perfect record right now, 6-0. and oh. District plays the first night of district play across the board. Uh, who's the other game tonight? I didn't even look. Steven didn't either. Uh, hold on. I, I did look today. It's what's sad. And it is... 
said it's Shallow Water and Dalhart. Um, no, they're next week. So it's Shallow Water has the night off, so it's got to be Dalhart River. Road. Okay, so Dalhart River Road. So, yep, Dalhart River Road at River Road. So that's the fun press box. Yeah, <laughs> man, we have some space tonight. We have hey, lots River of space. Road, we get, we're at home, so we have a little more room than we would have when we're on the road because their little closet's little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's super tiny. Uh, we'll give you a split view there. Um, yeah, it's it's very tiny. It's uh, it's better because at least they knocked the wall out. Yes. So so at least you can like stand in the doorway if you have to. Uh, but uh, yeah, that was that that is motivation alone to lose a little weight to get in that press box. <laughs> The Canadians isn't a whole lot bigger, to be honest. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, but the sun's just so bad. Do you feel the press in the with the wind? Do you feel the press box vibrating? Oh yeah, it will. Yes. It will. There's I feel no like we're out on the ocean right now. This. Now I'm really going to get. You know, we need to go to the to your vehicle if it starts lightning. Oh yeah, we're not. We don't want to be in this little. Because it's a metal, metal floor. Building. It's metal everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's for sure. But I like being outside. I like hearing the crowd. Um, you know, I like hearing, uh, well, we sometimes like hearing the crowd. <laughs> it depends on the refs. The refs can dictate that. But, yeah, so district play underway tonight. Uh, excited to see how things shake out. I think uh, I'm still, I really want this game to get over before I can predict, you know, what I think is going to be second and third uh, a little bit because, I don't know, to me it can go mule shoe. I think, I think Bushland does have one. But I th we've got some tough games. I think Dalhart, Muleshoe, and Shallowwater are going to be good competition. But oh, Today I gave Austin a prediction for D District 2, and I had Bushland going 4-0, Shallowwater going 3-1, because at the end of the day, they're still Shallowwater. Muleshoe 2-2, two and, two, and Dalhart 1-3. And, and it was really hard. I almost wanted to sneak Dalhart into that three spot. I want to see him. Tyler Reed is the real deal. Yeah. And now that he's got he's got a sophomore, just an electric young man that they're using all over the field and Trussler, I think Dalhart may surprise all of us. But just off of what I've seen so far and common opponents, it's hard not to, even though Shallow Water's coming in three and three, they They've played, played a, some tough they games. Did. They 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 ran 100%. the gauntlet, you know. Two really good teams are three and three right now, Brock and Shallow Water. And I think sometimes we have a tendency as fans to look at the records and be like, oh, they've lost three games. And then you start digging into those three, and it's kind of like that one loss for Bush. And you're like, oh, yeah, they dropped a game. Middle she's undefeated. But Canadian's the real deal. And so. And here comes Muleshoe onto the field. You forget how Muleshoe's just barely in the D1 classification. They, they're not far from being Division Two, and you see it in the depth. You'll, when you look at the number of players that Milshu has versus Bushland, we we outman them probably by a third. Falcons getting ready to come out the gate. It's interesting they come down the opposite side from where their uh, where the tunnels are. Give you a shot there as the Falcons jog in. Beautiful evening here. You're going to hear the band good tonight. Yeah, so, they're right outside our window. Yeah, this is a metal stand, metal room, so there'll be no doubt you'll hear it tonight. Hopefully, we'll be loud enough. It's currently 74, partly cloudy here. Uh, kickoff, 10 more minutes, says 73. But, Steven, by the time we get out of here, it's going to be 58. <laughs> I like it. I'm glad I brought the jacket. I guess the jacket. Yeah, mine's right here on the back of the chair. Uh, Trey's yours is too, ready to go. I did bring a pullover just to be Dude, safe. We went opposite tonight. We did. You I, went white, I went black. Even the even your pullover's white, mine's black. So. Uh, you know we what? never call, we never coordinate. Let me just we never, we, we never make history. the phone call and say, Stephen, what are you wearing tonight? That that conversation never happened. So whatever we put on, that's what we put on. Well, here I wore this Bushland Falcon media shirt all year last year, and I realized when I looked back through pictures 
I didn't wear it against shallow water, and I thought going in the district, if this is the lucky so shirt, it's your you fault. Got, you gotta you gotta wear the lucky shirt. And so you'll see me in this until proven otherwise. I thought you got us a shirt. Don't we have a black shirt? I think somewhere. <laughs> I know we have the one with the B on it that when when we got it a couple years ago. We've gone the opposite way. Mine shirt doesn't fit me anymore because I've outgrown it. Yours is probably loose on you now. Mine's like, just... mine's like, yeah, it's 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 really baggy. So, hey, by the way, y'all, make sure you hit the comments and wish Chris a happy birthday. Today is Chris Welch's birthday. It is. And Logan and I would sing to you, but we're really not the most acoustic version of the choir here and so Can we get logan beside us today he's gonna be right here we do he's in with us all right we're gonna flip the coins looks like meal shoe one and he chose to receive okay in what should be what many expect to be an offensive back and forth they decided to take the ball first so that's interesting they are eager to get out there. We did not get a lineup for them, did we? We did not. I'll Let's hope Max can't. Preds has it. Usually they do, but not always. Sorry, while we look this up. You know, I, I was laughing about the things that we don't coordinate this. or we. Let me tell you. Here come your Falcons. All right, we're going to turn up the mics just a little bit. We'll see if that helps uh, hear that. And I'm going to adjust that camera real quick. So tell you what, Stephen, let's get a commercial in, uh, and then we'll get the national anthem in, and then we'll be back in just a moment. Contractors Wholesale is a proud sponsor of the Bushland Falcons. Nathan Bixel over at Contractors Wholesale, they specialize in residential door cabinet hardware, wallpaper and fabric, cabinet drawers, hinges, screws, wood filler, and whatever you need to handle those big project jobs. Give Contractors Wholesale a call at 806-373-5761. And as always, go Falcons. No one said living here was simple. They just said it was worth it. This land wasn't easy to settle. More than 30 years in business will teach you that. Her elements are fierce and forceful. Amarillo can take anything thrown her way. Your body shop should too. Loki's Body Shop, built for Amarillo. Procrete Construction is a regional concrete place and finish company designed from the ground up to give you solid professional service. 
Based in Amarillo, Procrete serves residential, commercial, and industrial construction industries. High standards of professionalism and quality are our benchmarks. We know your construction project requires a company that is equipped with the tools, knowledge, and experience to complete the work as promised with a focus on details. Call 806-318-3820 or go online to learn more about Procrete. Danny Richberg of Edward Jones is a proud sponsor of the Bushland Falcons, our school, and our community. Danny Richberg of Edward Jones is a proud sponsor of the Bushland Falcons, our school, and our community. As a financial advisor, he wants to know what is important to you. Not everyone has the same goals, aspirations, and plans for the future, and that's okay. Whether you're focusing on retirement, a loved one's education, your lasting legacy, or a trip around the world, he would like to help. If you're serious about your investments and understand that it takes a plan but you don't have a plan, you need to visit with Danny. Whether that's across the desk, at your kitchen table, or on the phone, he's available for his clients. So give Sarah a call at his branch office at 806-352-2980. 806-352-2980. Two nine eight zero, and set up a time to meet with Danny. New Vision Exterior Solutions is a proud sponsor of our Bushland Falcons. At New Vision Exterior Solutions, they take pride in and are committed to their work. With an increasing number of successful projects under their belt, they can proudly say they are one of the most trusted seamless gutter installation companies in Amarillo, performing both residential and light commercial work. New Vision Exterior Solutions can handle all of your gutter needs, including removal and installation, hail damage, wind damage, and leak guards. New Vision can also stain new and old fences and make those old fences look new. So give Brock Hall a call at 806 806- All right, welcome back, welcome back. We are ready to get this game underway. We are live from Mule Shoe, Texas tonight as the Falcons take on the Mule Shoe Mules in district play. This opening night of district play, Stephen. This is exciting. I can't believe it's already here. Boy, time flies, time flies. So we're going to be standing up a lot of the game, but the good news is we can both pretty well see both sides of the field. Which uh, is unique for we, most, pro, most press blocks. It is unique. It is unique. So we got Logan up here beside us. So we're happy to have him. Thank you, Logan. He gave me a head nod, so y'all couldn't see that. You're going to hear lots of crowd noise tonight. Uh, that'll be in there. And that's going to be in touchback. Mule elect did win the toss. They elected to receive. Good to see Ty Purcell back at safety. He did get ejected in the third quarter of the last game on a real questionable targeting call. They changed the rule this year where targeting doesn't mean you have to miss part of the next game at the high school level. The quarterback got one offset to the right. He's going to put one in motion left to right. And they will yeah. fall start. Yeah, that's number three. Yeah. Maurice, Marie, oh, sorry. Mauricio Herrera is number three. What's that quarterback number? Is that two? Couldn't tell if it's yeah. two or eight. It's Nathan Martins, I believe. Yeah. He drops back, he looks quick though out here to the right and it is short and in the ground, incomplete. Second down and 15. You 
you're going to get to rock along with the pride of the Panhandle, the first little Falcon band all night. Yeah, they're right, they're right below us, just off to the right a little bit. Last Saturday, they picked up the best 3A band at the marching competition at Big Bivens. He goes to deep, go top. and that's going to be... Max! Oh, Max Rodriguez nearly with the interception. Yeah, so we're going to turn Steven up a little bit. Y'all let us know if that's a little bit better. You hey, don't hear when's, that very often. When's the last time we heard, <laughs> hey, Steven's quiet. I can't quite hear him. Uh, it's either that or I'm too loud, and I can come down a little bit too. So, yeah, we don't hear that very often. Here we go, third and 15. Nathan Rolls, he's under heavy pressure. Oh, he gets just up the middle. Wide open. And he splits, he's running down here, he's at the 40, he cuts back. He's gonna be over midfield, he's still going and he's gonna step out of bounds at about the 36 yard line. Man. Can't, thankful for Tanner Adams' speed, kind of forcing him out there. All right, much better. All right, we got Steven dialed in now. Again, how often do you hear that? Not often. A 44-yard run there. Man coverage was able to slip out. Nobody on no, the quarterback. No pressure on the quarterback, which gave him time to just step up in the pocket. We had pressure coming around. Trips right, single left. Slant route. That's complete to number seven, Sebastian Curvin. Max Rodriguez in on the tackle. About a five yard gain. We'll call that second down and five. Trips, but they're over there right tight. One over here on the left. He wants to throw out to this running back. He does. Oh my goodness, if that running back. Back, he flared out and waited till the defender bit, and then he it up and he had a step there. He did, it was a little underthrown and in front of him. He just on it. Nice route, though. Third down and five. Twins left, single over there to the right, two in the backfield, offset to the right. Nathan drops back, he throws. Oh, it gets good deflected. job. Austin Ryder gets a hand on that because he, he had his receiver in the flat. You'll see that on the replay. Watch on that top right of your screen. Just got a good tip right there. They're in four down territory, so. Fourth down and five. Falls at the 31. Right now they got twins on both sides in the backfield with Nathan's gonna be uh, Sosie Sagala. Sox, they haven't let the quarterback run it again. Yeah, he's had the best game by far. Stands in the pocket, delivers, oh, but deflected. Little Great bit behind, play. Slade Perry with good coverage. And that'll be a turnover on downs. We'll have our first Jasper Plumbing first down of the night. So Falcons take over on the 32 yard line. The rally towels going. Yeah, Jasper got Plumbing him. provided every fan tonight with Here we the go. Jasper we'll look at Plumbing. this. Here's our, here's our towels. So DJ and the offense comes out. DJ in the back row got one in motion. Nice. Oh, they handed to Slade Perry. Look at nice little shifty move. You know, that was pretty good because most time you're going to think you're going to either toss it to Slade. I mean, uh, uh, or Max coming out of that backfield, but not Slade necessarily. Kind of looks like a jet sweep, and it is. And he's got Rodriguez oh. around the right side. Man. Stratton. Great job by Sagala on that he, tackle. He did. He got off Stratton's block. I think Slade didn't chip him because he thought Stratton had it. Had the blockers out there, but that'll. Third down and three, 10 34 in the first. Oh, you're going to get the Tanner, Tanner Adams. Adams. Got some speed. He gets the corner, and he does. There you go. Oh, oh. no, that's not, a, that's not a hole. Surprised they didn't actually call a face mask. 
Uh, he reached up. I don't know if I can get that replay or not. That's terrible. It's 15 yards behind the play, and it wasn't a hold. Nothing involved in the play. Just two guys wrestling behind the play, 15 yards behind it, and they call a flag. But surprised they didn't call a face mask over here. If you saw his head flip oh, back. Oh, yeah, it did turn. Um, so that was a little surprising. We didn't have two flags. I think they were too focused up, up back on the backfield where all that penalty happened. So Falcons going to have third down and uh, let's call it 13. Man, Tanner Adams can get that quarter fast, can he? You know, he's he's got a speed when he's looking, and then he's got the speed when he's running. <laughs> Those are two different speeds. And it's like first to fifth. He forgets there's two, yeah. three, and four in between. <laughs> Twins on both sides. DJ drops back. You look, and he wants to go. Oh, he, what a great nice round by Tanner round. Adams. Great job by the offensive line. Watch how much time DJ has to stand in the pocket. All upright. Drive back up the line. Twins on both sides. Oh, they're going to fake a screen out to the... Kay Gavinia. Right, leading the way. And that's a new vision touchdown. 55 yards by Kay Gavinia. What a play. I tell you, once he cleared that first line, there was nobody left. Everybody had played up. And there was nobody back, no safety back there at all. And how often do you see? Uh, hey, did you see how fast Jake, Jake White. White was running down the field? Well, I was going to say, how often do you see Jake White that far downfield or getting downfield to help with the block? There's the kick, and it is up, and it is good. So 10-11 yeah. to go in the first. Falcons up 7-0. Yeah, I'll tell you, Jake White was – for 30 yards, he was step for step with Kate Gavinia. Props to the big man getting downfield. We'll be right back. In need of an adjustment after a night of cheering on the Falcons? Lovett Chiropractic is here for you. Visit LovettChiro.com or give them a call at 806-358-7106 and they will have you back on top of your game in no time. All right, welcome back. I like the little music intro there. Uh, when we have time and we remember it's there. Once again, problem. the Falcons get the first, first, the Jasper Plumbing first down, and the drive ins and a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. Steven's got a theory there. It's a pretty good one so far. If we convert the first, first down of the drive, Falcons will score. That's, I mean, we were eight for eight last week, and we're one for one this week so far as the Falcons jump out fast on the 55-yard New Vision touchdown. Nice kick, man. Ty Purcell. You got to be put <laughs> he can flat put kick it a down, football. man. He's got a little wind behind him. That helps. That wind's pretty hefty. I, I want to know. Like, at what point do they say, hey, let's let Ty, Ty kick it and see what happens? Because he didn't start the year as our kicker, but he has flat taken over the kicking job. Ty Purcell, man alive. He reminds me of Weston Forbes out there. We, you know, last year, until Weston tore his ACL, I would argue we had the best kicker in the state of Texas. Ah, twins on both sides here. For the Mules. Sitting on this left hash closest to us. Oh, oh he got away from Charlie. Mask. Oh, they didn't call that. Woo. He kind of got away with that. He didn't do it on purpose. He I, was reaching in. I didn't. It didn't look like he turned his head much. It looked kind of more like he well, smacked him. He, 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 he reached over for him, and he, he kind of smacked him. See? And then. I think that's what the ref told and, him and, is and he and didn't he, grab it. He just hit you in it. In the NFL, they'd have called that a flag anyway. Oh, yeah, they would have. Because it was the quarterback. Can't smack the quarterback in the head. Twins on both, uh, twins on the right, one on the left here. We're going to hand it to the running back. That is number 21. He tries to get the corner, and he cannot. He has to cut back inside. That was a great job by Colton Reynolds, holding the edge, forcing that thing back up and inside where he had plenty of help. That was uh, number 21, Daniel Sainas. I'm sure I'm butchering that. <laughs> Makes it third and eight, limits that to a two-yard game. They were trying to catch the edge there, but Colton Reynolds got it before they could. 
Twins on both sides. We'll have one in the backfield with him. He drops back. He looks. He wants it to go over the middle. It opens up in the middle for the quarterback. And there he goes again with that quarterback draw, basically. Yeah. Not on purpose. I think he's just taking what he's getting. And that's, that's a first down. A first down. A little too much dancing. I'm shocked he just didn't run, you know. As soon as he saw that, he should have taken it off, right? Yeah. But he, he tried to – I don't know if it was a designed one. I don't necessarily think it was, but we're giving it to him right now. Well, he stopped and danced a couple yards short. He got lucky. Charlie hits him in the back and actually knocks him for the first down. Trip left. I tell you, I'm surprised they haven't gone back to number seven yet. Sebastian Kerr is a big guy. He is. He's on that inside slot. One in motion. Number one goes left to right. They're going to fake the jet sweep. This time they do. Oh, and he gets away from Fuentes on that corner. Oh, and they got a block on the edge. A beautiful. Once again, number seven, the guy you talked about, got a good block on the edge. Yeah, seven and three both. Three was able to get a little contact, Herrera. And that was just enough to get him down to just having about two yards to go to the first down. So eight-yard gain, second down and two. Slade Perry in the game. AJ got just a little too far inside, and they were able to catch that edge. Change the play at the line of scrimmage. 21 in the backfield. Good to see us go back to the 10-1 here. Oh, high snap. He and pumped. there's pressure all over the quarterback. Oh, man, we jumped. Nice defense by Tanner, Tanner Adams. I tell you what, what's this replay? Tanner Adams. He's got some hops, man. Just a nice play. Great job by Cannon Melvin getting pressure in the backfield. Interesting, and I don't know if you saw it or not. One of our guys... When he pumped, he jumps in the air. And, I mean, their, line, their right tackle just leveled our guy. I couldn't see who it was. Twins on both sides. That was Mason Melvin. Quarterback tries to do a keeper. He oh, look at He's that. got the first down again, and he just goes down. Slade Perry makes the tackle. Credit for the tackle. You're right. He kind of fell down. He kind of was trying to get around the umpire. He's like, well, before I get killed, I'm just going to go down. <laughs> Smart play. You know, you don't want to get hit from behind. That's, boy, those fumbles Especially happen. when Easton Fuentes is coming at you. <laughs> yeah. You know, Charlie and Easton somewhere back there. Same formation. Put one in motion left to right. That's number one. Oh, look at Zundel with some great coverage. Let me tell you, Zach Zundel right there, folks. If you want to watch how to defend a pass, watch what he does. He follows them, and then he breaks on the ball and knocks it right out of his hand. That is an excellent, excellent defensive play. And that's watching film during the week. He knew what they were trying to do. They're, they're bringing one in motion, almost like a CFL play. The, the, the Dolphins do it with Tyree Kill. They're trying to get him moving before the – and obviously he's moving laterally, but as soon as that, that snap comes, he's already in full speed, and Zach Zundel covered it so well. Woo, Battle Austin in the air. Ryder. Oh! He should have dropped that ball. Oh, wow. He should have thrown that over his head, but the quarterback maybe. No, nope, they're going to bounce him up. That's a tough dude right there. Watch this. He gets just pulled. Is that Cannon Melvin that just plants him? I think it was. Cannon's one of my neighbors, I would, and I would not want him planting me in the ground. Empty, oh, no, it's not empty back though. Quarterback's just got to let that one go, though. He lost knock it down, eight you know. yards on that play. Trips right, single left, one in the backfield. He scrambles over here to the right. Um, and he, oh, nice job. Who is that? Fetch got a, no, Colton Reynolds. Colton Reynolds got a hold of his ankle and just hogtied him. Great play. You'll see Colton Reynolds come back in here from behind, really. He's being blocked. He just kind of dives under the blocker and grabs an ankle and holds on. That'll bring up a punt formation. Fourth down and 18 now. Ball's right at the 45 in Mule territory. Okay, it's game six. You know you're on the punt team. Yeah. Seven, game seven. Oh, that's true, game seven. You already played six. <laughs> Short punt into Tanner's the wind. Get away from it. It's going to settle in at the 25. 
Falcons going to have first and 10 at the 25. We'll be right back. Welcome back. After that word from Chop Chop, 6.36 to go in the first. Falcons have the ball after a nice defensive stand. Trips right, single left. A, a quick throw out here to the right. Look at Slade Perry. Slade gets about five yards, I think. We'll see where they mark it. He did. He was quick off the edge. Mealshoe had three guys there. He tried to split them, didn't he? Now we're in the pistol. We are in the pistol formation. We'll Rolling out to the off. left. DJ throwing nice. Oh, oh man, what Max a defensive Rodriguez. play. Max has the ball in his hand, and 10 comes in at the last second and just knocks it down. I'll tell you what, we've seen some great defensive plays tonight so far by these backs, by these corners. Great job by DJ. Rolling out, holding it, giving Max time to get a, a little bit of a step, but... Oh, we're setting up a screen. We are. And it's got blockers. There's Jake White. Oh, no, oh. no, no. He might have a first. Oh, Ty was there. Looked like he had the block, and they were just able to shed it. I think he's going to be just short. Yeah, oh, yeah. He is going to be a little short. About a yard, maybe two yards. I'm waiting. We're going to go. We're going to quarterback power, and, of course, DJ. Picks it up. <laughs> he does. Fourth and one on your own 34, but when you got Dawson Jaco, the odds are in your favor. Falcons right back to the line. Trips left, single right. Quick handoff up in the middle. And Slade Perry, nice carry. Slade Perry getting a lot of carries early tonight. He is. Looks like we're going to get Fuentes in. Now the battering ram. Oh, and they're going to split out. him out in the slot. <laughs> so we're going to empty the backfield. This might be a no. He's going deep. Oh, yes, he oh, is. Oh, he's wide, wide open. open. Tanner Adams. Tanner Adams to the house. Touchdown, Falcon. Vision touchdown. You'll see here on the replay. Number 10 just found out how fast Tanner Adams is. Thank you, Procrete, for that replay. I tell you what, that was impressive. Where'd he go? <laughs> he just flat blew by him. Sid Carroll on for the extra point. Snaps back. Hold looks good. Kick is up, and it is good. 5 4 to go in the first. Falcons on top. 14 0. We'll be right back. Melanie and Jeremy Scott with Texas Plains Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Realty support our Bushland Falcons on and off the field. As residents of the community, our school and students' success are important to us. A successful school drives home values and a strong sense of community, along with a desire to live in Bushland. To help further their community support, we have created a Bushland-only e-directory, which can be found at bushlandhomesandliving.com. Please visit our site and add your business listing for free. Procrete Construction is a regional concrete place and finish company designed from the ground up to give you solid professional service. Based in Amarillo, Procrete serves residential, commercial, and industrial construction industries. High standards of professionalism and quality are our benchmarks. We know your construction project requires a company that is equipped with the tools, knowledge, and experience to complete the work as promised with a focus on details. Call 806-318-3820 or go online to learn more about Procrete Construction at ProcreteNow.com. Welcome back, everyone. Falcons strike big again. Well, this is some of the things we talked about. Keys to play, big plays, striking first. 5.04 to go. All you got to do is get the first Jasper Plumbing first down, and you score touchdowns. Thanks to Mitch McBride and his team over there, Jasper Plumbing being our first down sponsor. We're skipping a bunch of first downs tonight. We're just going straight in and scoring. And Damn. another tie for sale. That ball eight yards deep in the end zone. That's a weapon right there, that leg. 
100%. Haven't had that kind of weapon since Weston got injured last year. And finding that to big time. We'll let you hear the band. They're rocking. And here come the mules back out. Starting the 20. He wants to throw. He gets heavy pressure, and he is going to go down. Easton. Got back right at the line of scrimmage. Pretty close. Yeah, they marked it right on the 25. Maybe a little short. I gotta go ban some people on the Facebook page. They're spamming it. Trips right, single left. Pow, he comes out of there. I tell you, Falcons are doing a better job staying on top. That should go down as a sack. I think they're gonna give oh, him. They're the gonna of... give it to right the line of scrimmage again. Yeah, sorry, we do have to watch our pages. We do get spammed. Once we go live, man, the spammers show up like crazy. Some of them are even bold enough to ask if they'll if we'll let them do it. I'm like, no. <laughs> I love those. Those are my favorites. Got twins on both sides, one in the backfield. Looking to the sideline for the call. Clock ticking 347 to go in the first quarter. Quarterback drop, stands tall. High pass. He's got him. What a throw. What a throw. Watch this pro creek replay, I tell you. And what a catch. He just drops back, and he stands in the pocket so calm. I mean, just beat us off the line and step for step, and just there was there was a half-yard step, and he dropped it in there perfectly. I should call that dropping dimes, man, dropping dimes. He's going to have two in the backfield this time. That's 21 and 7. They're going to hand it to 21. Ooh, it'll go nowhere as May uh, Cannon Melvin just Woo. tackle for a loss. What a play. Great job, uh -oh. Melvin. Uh-oh. Seven just went down. That's seven or never, one? That's seven. Oh, that is seven. He gets up. That's good. Good to see him walk that off. He is a large dude. And just an update for those that watched last weekend at Riverside, you know, our first offensive play, their safety that came over, tried to tackle Cade, went down. They carted him off. He was actually, that was a precautionary move after Coach Reynolds talked to their coach uh, this week. He's doing good. He was actually back at the stadium by halftime. Um, he would have come out in street clothes, or he did come out in street clothes for the start of the third quarter, but um, he is good. And so always good when we get to, see these young men stay healthy. All right, so second down and 12 after the Cannon Melvin tackle for a loss. Twins on both sides. Hands it to the running back. He goes left and he goes nowhere. Nowhere. In fact, As he'll he have a one-yard Charlie ball. Pitt. Yeah, it's going to be third down and 13 as Charlie Pitt just stands up the running back and drives him backwards. Sorry, getting a little darker here. We're going to adjust that camera for you. Uh oh, they'd snap it. Oh, no, we weren't running off the show. I thought, were we running somebody off light? We're just running Colton Reynolds down here to play coverage. Oh, he gets out of that somehow. I don't know oh, how. Not that. But Jackson Fetch makes sure he doesn't get out of that. I want you to watch. You know, there's a former player here that I nicknamed Scud Missile. And I tell you what, that looked like a Scud Missile Dude, play right there. Dude, Holt Humphrey made a great play, and somehow the quarterback gets out of it. And then I think he wishes he hadn't because Jackson Fetch. Man, Jackson made a beeline to him. And closed quick.
ties off. Tanner on to return this punt. Yep, Tanner Adams standing about the 20. Uh, 110, ticking away. He will be punting into the wind. I'm assuming he's punting. Yeah, surely not. They're going to take a timeout. They're going to write it down and take a timeout. So with that, we'll take a timeout, and we'll be right back. Hope Choice is a faith-based pro-life organization that assists women facing an unplanned pregnancy by providing free pregnancy tests, sonograms, educational classes, and baby supplies. Hope Choice is also helping young people and parents by taking a stand against society's influences that are threatening today's families. By offering free mentoring programs to young people ages 8 to 18, retreats, and character building presentations for students in the schools, Hope Choice is changing culture one heart at a time. Learn more about the mentoring programs, events, how to volunteer, or become a financial partner by visiting HopeChoice.com. That's HopeChoice.com. The Bushland Falcons are a symbol of excellence in all athletics. So when the Falcons take the football field, there is no room for error. Vanessa McDonald with Lions Realty feels the same way about her job. As a real estate professional with almost 20 years of experience, Vanessa knows there's no room for error when it comes to your real estate goals. Right, Fortunately, Vanessa's comes, real estate oh, experience, understanding our clients' needs, forward-thinking company Number behind 14, her, and her love for the Bushland community all combine to form a winning really team see that for her When clients. a gunner leaves early on the punt, Yeah, that's pretty rare. I mean, you're looking down the line at the ball. That'll make it a country mile, by the way. Oh, and I tell you, we get huge pressure swinging around. He's got nowhere to go. He is trying, but the Austin Ryder with the big sack. What's this replay? I mean, he is running. We got such penetration, nowhere to go. He runs back. Oh man, that was just relentless. Pursuit. Oh, did I do it again? Sorry. Didn't mean to do it twice. Although it was good to watch twice. Fifty-two seconds to go in this first quarter. Falcons up. 14-0, first and ten, already in mule territory at the 33 call. You like when you start the Jasper plumbing first down in for a draw. Oh, reverse. it's a reverse. Oh, oh, it's a flip double. There's no, he's not there. They covered it pretty well. He has to go short. He goes to Slade Perry, though. Who will have the Jasper plumbing first down inside the AA and A windshield red zone. Our first trip inside the AA and A windshield red zone is our first two touchdowns. Oh, that reminds me. Love it needs to be up there, too, right? Oh, yeah. Our first half sponsor. Oh, what a cut there by Slade Perry. Ooh, man, he gets hit hard down low there. He did. And I, if 22 doesn't make the tackle, Holt Humphrey's going to guide him all the way into the end zone. Eight-yard gain on the Jasper Fleming first down. Slade Perry's still back there. They're going to hand it to Slade around this left side. He cuts back in. Ooh. Got the first down, though. Good job by 22 cutting off that outside. First but it does didn't first go down. in this AA and A windshield red zone. I bet we're just going to let this run out. You know, we got the first first Jasper. We got the first Jasper Plumbing first down. So you know we're going to score a touchdown when we come back. So <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll hear from our sponsors. AA and A windshield and glass is a proud sponsor of the Bushland Falcons. We are your one-stop shop, and we'll get it done right. We are a family-owned and operated business for over 35 years, and we specialize in windshield replacement installation and rock chip repair. We offer scheduled appointments in our shop, or we'll come to you with our mobile service. Call us today at 806-353-9119 or fill out our contact form at aaawindshieldglass.com to get started. See clearly with AA&A Windshield and Glass. No one said living here was simple. They just said it was worth it. This land wasn't easy to settle. More than 30 years in business will teach you that. Her elements are fierce and forceful. Amarillo can take anything thrown her way. Your body shop should too. Loki's Body Shop, built for Amarillo.
All right, welcome back. Start of the second quarter, Falcons have the ball. First and 10, ball is on the six yard line. Falcons trying to knock on the door for the third time. And off up the middle. Look at Zundel carrying number 78. That's a big boy to have on your back. DJ will come over and get the call. So the ball is right on the three yard line. So he gets halfway there with that carry. Second goal, ball's in the three. Feels like an Easton Fuentes time. Just let him ram that thing. He is in the game, and he gets the ball. They Man. stuff him. 22 from. came in, submarined Easton. What a play there by number 22. Great job. That's a, that's a lot of that's a lot of power to knock Easton off like that. And he was smart. He didn't try to hit him high. He just took him out at the ankles. Yep. So that's actually about a one yard loss. I think we're going to have it third down and goal from the four. Watch this uh, fake to Quintez and see if DJ didn't keep it. One in motion. That's Zendel. Touchdown, Dawson Jaco with the four yard. Touchdown run, new vision touchdown. DJ well on his way to having a day is his third touchdown of the game. Just 10 seconds into, no, a minute 10 seconds into the second quarter. Sid Carroll on to kick, kick up. Oh. And it's Ooh, good. I thought he missed it for a second. <laughs> and just like that, it's 21 0. We'll be back after the break. Whether you need a building to grow your business or you simply need more space for a backyard workshop, look no further than Tightwire Construction. Kurt and his team will get you the most out of your metal building and take pride in exceeding your needs with great customer service. To talk about your next project, give Kurt a call at 806-683-6842 or visit tightwireconstruction.com. And as always, go Falcons. All right, we're back here in Mule Shoe. A minute 10 into the Lubbock Chiropractic second quarter and the Falcons 21-0. Good start for the Falcons. You know, quick start, that was one of our keys. It was. Right? You know, I went on, you know, Austin, uh, our, who helps produce our uh, coaches show, is starting a little uh, sport, high school sports, region one sports show, and he asked me today, he goes, what do you really think? And I said, I really feel like Bush is 17 points better. And high so, kick, he calls for the woo! third catch at the 31. And they may prove me wrong. They may be even better, more than 17 at the rate we're going. We haven't got great pressure on the quarterback, at least not consistently, but every time it, they tend to get to a third down, we make the play force a fourth and long, and we've got off the field every time on third down. The last series was our best. The first two definitely. Yes. The last series, I thought we had a better penetration on that front four. Cannon Melvin has been a force to reckon with tonight. He has the trips left single over here on the right side. They're going to hand it to the running back. Oh, he gets through there. Oh, what a job there. And he breaks one, two tackles. Oh, and I think and he's, he's going to go. He is gone. That is a 68-yard touchdown run for the Mule Shoe Mules. We knew running between the tackles. They had some firepower. We stunted. If you watch that back, we stunt, they pick it up, and that pulling guard, all he had to do was make the middle linebacker miss, and once we did, he was gone, and he had some speed because we have some speed in that secondary. Yeah, that's a Daniel Sainz running back. Yeah. He's, he's, having a a mon he's having a monster year for him. We're going to block that. Oh, and look at Ty Purcell. He just, what are they blowing it dead for? That's a live ball. Ty Purcell, y'all. Watch this block come around the edge. Oh, yeah, saw that one coming. That was block. Superman. 
Beautiful wow. job. He'll kick it, he'll block it. Heck, he punts it. I mean, uh -oh, he's, you come across the secondary, he's going to lay you out. I mean, he was our local legend outfitter player of the game two weeks ago. Not often with this high-powered offense do you get a defensive specialist as the local legend outfitter player of the game, but that tells you the impact that Ty Purcell has on a football game. Max Rodriguez and Tanner Adams back there to take this kick. Feels like one of those moments where they're going to get one back really, really fast. This will be their first time kicking off to us, so we'll get to see their kicker. And it's number seven. He does it all as well. Seems like a time for Tanner. All the cameras are on. News is here. You got two of them that have rolled in over on the Mule Shoe sideline. Corin Davis and Cal Steed down here videoing. Feels like one of those times he's going to do something. All right, here we go. Let's see if they kick it away from him. If I'm Muleshoe, I'm not putting that thing anywhere near Tanner. And they... Nope, they're going to kick it to him. <laughs> And he takes it, he just kind of fields that like a baseball. And here he comes. There he goes, up the gut. Oh! And he gets up into it at the 31. Probably don't want to stand over him, 22. There was a crease for a second. 22 did, two did a great job of closing it down. He's, I'll tell you what, defensively, he's made some, some plays already early tonight. Uh, that is Noah Cantu. He is a senior, 5'11", 162. Oh, there he is. Oh, they hold him. Yeah. Uh, Max Rodriguez. Great job by Strat Malloy. He's going to get 15 yards and another Jasper Plumbing first down. As, but, yes. As, as Max runs by the defender, he literally grabs him around the waist. Yeah, and Max was going to break open deep, and DJ had to check that down because of it. Hand off to Slade Perry. Slade oh, Perry look at Slade. Him through. He gets about nine yards on that. Nice hard running there by Slade. Picks up, uh, we'll call it eight on the Jasper Fleming first down. We're going to come back to that Max play. You watch. Quick pass out here, Tanner Adams. Tanner takes a good, gets a good block. Max did that perfect. He held the block, and as soon as he spun, he let that defender go because, I mean, you can't hide holding out there. No. So he did a great job on that edge to help Tanner get the Jasper Plumbing first down. Twins on both sides. We're going to hand that. Oh! DJ, DJ what a read by Dawson Jaco! Everybody in the stadium thought Slade Perry had the ball. Watch this. Wow. What? We will come away with seven on this drive. Slade Perry still back there in the backfield. Take a little breather here. First and 10, 9, 10 to go. Ball's at the 23. We're going to hand it to him off this left side. If he can oh, look at corner. Slade break the arm tackle, and oh, he's still going. What a move by Slade Perry. He kind of does <laughs> a little jump move. Slade saying, I might be the feature back, Bushland. Watch this move right here. Just a great job. The Jasper Plumbing first down in the AANA windshield red zone. Quarterback power. DJ keeps it. He pops out to the right. He gets down. I think maybe the six. We'll see where they mark it. Oh, they're, wow, they're going to back him all the way. Yeah. Got the seven. Second down. We'll call it three probably. Now Max Rodriguez. He's going to – oh, look at him just carrying the guys. Well, it's nice. The lineman actually slung him forward on top of all that. So I think that may that be, a be a first a, and goal. Nope. Third down and one. Call it a half. 
It's hard to see. We're, you know, these are smaller stands, so we have that hard angle yes. over, and, it, and the sticks are on our side, so it's hard to see it. Oh, DJ pulls it. He's got nowhere to go. He oh, yeah, he's got, Woo! He got away with one there. Boy, 10 ends up breaking on that ball, or DJ didn't see him kind of sitting back there. Yeah, he baited him in, and that's – that tells you the force uh, and just the strength of Dawson's arm. He's on the other hash mark, and he throws a missile so hard that they can't even field it. So we rotate it. So it's fourth and one. This is the power This group. is quarterback power. You just feel like you're going to follow Easton through the hole. I don't. I think he lost a yard. Yeah, he does not get that. i shocked we handed that one off. Not to take anything away from Easton, but, man, when you can follow that battering ram through the hole. He does not get that. So, turnover on down. I tell you what, watch the defense now. Yeah, the, 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 don't be shocked if there's not a safety here. Um, now, traditionally, we would pin our ears back and go. We haven't done that as much this year. Let's see if it's dialed up here. I would go. You've got Austin Ryder on the edge. Let him do his thing. Oh, he gets out of it. And he gets a first down, and he gets him out of that hole. That was just enough of a delay that it let everybody pinch. Well, and here's the thing. 72 pulled Austin Ryder inside. He, he yeah. probably should have got a holding call because once, once he's pulled inside, there's nobody on that edge. Oh, and the quarterback pulled that one. He did. These quarterbacks, I think you're going to get a hold finally. And... This one's so far behind the play. I, hate, I don't like these calls when guys are just wrestling that far behind the play. But I guess it'll make up for the one earlier that they called on us. That was a great option read, though, because Cannon Melbourne's in the backfield. He, he takes away. Oh. What did he just call? Sorry, I was getting us a little light. What was the call? A personal foul. It almost looked like he did a blind side. You can't do that on defense. There hadn't been a lot of flags tonight. Yeah, they, mark, they had to mark it off an extra five yards because... See what our defense can do now. First and 10 balls are about the 47. Snaps back. He throws. What a. They're going to call interference. You can't. You can't. Oh. That was great coverage the whole way. They're living on that sideline, but they're step for step. And that's just two guys fighting down the sideline. Colton Reynolds in a hand battle going down. Sorry, y'all, we're trying to lighten the camera. This this field is super dark here. Until you get in the red zone. Oh, he almost loses the ball. Oh, but what a job of recovering. The quarterback, man, just elusive. He looks dead to rights as he bobbled the snap and the snap hit the ground. That's another first down. I'll get some color adjustments uh, here in just a minute on that field.
trips over here. On the I line. would argue none of the three receivers are on the line as we look down the line. Oh, what a job coming from behind, Colton Reynolds. The cornerback never sees him, so he jumps back thinking that he's going to try to catch that edge. And when he does, he loses about two and a half yards, and we'll get the sack on the play. Second down and 13. Great job, Colton Reynolds, coming from the backside, chasing it down. Trips left. Colton Reynolds doing it all, coming off the edge. Out there, now he's out on number three on the edge, far side, covering in coverage. Quick pass out here. Good, good job getting him kind of one-on-one -on -one open. That was, that was a really good route. They got him in motion, so he's, he's moving at the snap which just gives him an advantage. Gets out there in the flat, turns it upfield. Makes it third down and we'll call it four here. Oh, are they gonna be a timeout? Timeout Falcons and we'll take one with them and we'll be right back. Danny Richberg of Edward Jones is a proud sponsor of the Bushland Falcons, our school, and our community. As a financial advisor, he wants to know what is important to you. Not everyone has the same goals, aspirations, and plans for the future, and that's okay. Whether you're focusing on retirement, a loved one's education, your lasting legacy, or a trip around the world, he would like to help. If you're serious about your investments and understand that it takes a plan but you don't have a plan, you need to visit with Danny. Whether that's across the desk, at your kitchen table, or on the phone, he's available for his clients. So give Sarah a call at his branch office at 806-352-2980, 806-352-2980, and set up a time to meet with Danny. New Vision Exterior Solutions is a proud sponsor of our Bushland Falcons. At New Vision Exterior Solutions, they take pride in and are committed to their work. With an increasing number of successful projects under their belt, they can proudly say they are one of the most trusted seamless gutter installation companies in Amarillo, performing both residential and light commercial work. New Vision Exterior Solutions can handle all of your gutter needs, including removal and installation, right, we're coming hell back damage, here. Okay. wind damage. So third down and about four. Flags all over the place. I think you're going to get an illegal formation. Oh, they caught us for offsides. You're <laughs> Chris, not going to like that one. They did convert the first down. They, they declined the penalty, but man. Muleshoe going on a little drive here. 21-6, six, six minutes to go till halftime. Twins to both sides. We're working on the color on the screen. Playing all sorts of tricks on us. If we get brighter, it gets yellow. If we get too dark, it turns really green. So we're trying to figure it out here. So first down, drop back. Oh, he threw a good ball. And Ty Purcell, he does it all. He comes over with the interception, and he's still going. Can he get away? He's going to have a block. Ty, he's, can he hold him up? Oh, he doesn't get there. Ty Purcell, what a play. Wow, that was incredible. We saw it two weeks ago against Dumas. When you test that side of the field, Ty's range is crazy. And you see it again, he comes over, he gets a hand on the ball, keeps it alive till he can wrangle it in. And he takes that ball 86 yards back. And man, he gets run down at the three. So it'll be Jasper Plumbing first down and goal in the AA and A windshield red zone. Here with 549 to go in the Lubbock Chiropractic first half. I expect to see quarterback power here. Nope, gonna go back to Easton. Easton won't be denied a second time. Easton Fuentes, touchdown, Falcons! 
Okay, I think I got us dialed in now. Sorry about that. I was watching the whole time. I was just on camera. <laughs> what a job. I love that they went back to Easton after getting denied on the fourth down play, and this time he carries about three guys, three mules into the end zone for the new vision touchdown. Big care on for the extra point. There's the snap. The hold looks good. Kick is up. And it is beautiful. Good. 5.42 to go in this first half. Falcons up 28-6. We'll be right back. Adobe Wall Stoneworks, Justin Howe here. Listen, I can't believe it, but this year we're going to celebrate our 20th anniversary. The Texas Panhandle has been such a support for our little business, and we're so thankful. Amy and I have been dreaming about this design center for years. We want you to come check it out on Hillside. Go check out our website, adobewallstoneworks.com. Just like you go make a dinner reservation, you can click and make a reservation for a private design consultation in our indoor showroom right here on Hillside. Come check it out, Adobe Wall Stoneworks. In need of an adjustment after a night of cheering on the Falcons? Lovett Chiropractic is here for you. Visit lovettchiro.com or give them a call at 806-358-7106 and they will have you back on top of your game in no time. That's appropriate music coming back. That is. So it looks like we'll give, uh, after he just had that massive return, we'll give Ty Purcell a quick breather. What? Tarango will come on and kick this one off. We'll see if the mules get a return out of it. Ball will be fielded at about the, the 15. 16, he bobbles it. He gets it up. Pretty good return considering. He gets it up to about the 26. Number 34, Cameron Davis in there on the tackle. I wonder how hard of a time they're going to give Ty for getting tracked down. Oh. <laughs> Pearson's going to give him a hard time. Uh, he got his track coach sitting over here on the side. What a well, play by Ty Pearson. I guess he's also his defensive backs coach, too. He is his defensive He, he gets them both times. Ty actually does not run track. He is an incredible is baseball player. Okay. And so. I thought he ran track too. All right. Twins on both sides. Put one in motion right to left. Quick pass. That same play earlier. Oh, yeah. Did a little dance. Forced out of bounds. About a yard short. Still need a little more green. It looks green out here. But. The lights are fun. Twins on both sides. He drops back. Quick pass out here to the left. He Woo. picks him up. Charlie Pitt almost got that one straight out of the air. That'll be a first down mules. I love how their coaches coach from the top of the press box. And I not mean the top, I mean they're on the roof. Yeah, they are up and outside, aren't they? They are. Trips right, single left. Maybe in one of the breaks we'll get Logan to pan up there and you can see it. Oh, what a bounce outside. But Austin Ryder chases him down. That was a great job by Austin Ryder, just not giving up that edge. He shed his block and chased him down. We're right back up to the line pretty quick. Under five minutes to go in this first half. Quick pass. They've got a blocker in front of him. You got Seven's holding. Yeah, that's gonna get called. Zach Zundel, I mean, he was taking his jersey off of him. Thought 
So that'll back him up to the 40, makes it second down and eight. Got a little bit darker there. Where there, it's getting br brighter. We'll get that shifted over here for you. There we are. Oh, that was a false start, number seven. They did not call it. Number 21 will take it up about four yards, make it third down, we'll call it five. Boom, right there. That looks good on my big screen monitor here. Okay. Hopefully it looks good on your TV, y'all. Man, it's driving me crazy. Still need more green in there, but I'll work on it at halftime. Clock's ticking almost down to four minutes to go. You know, she really wanted to score here. Well, I, I, AJ it's gonna be, inter it's ground. gonna be interesting to see if they call seven for it or if they're gonna call this on AJ. There is a flag back here. I mean, AJ's on the ground. But I couldn't tell, it kind of looked like AJ fell and then tried to grab seven. Yeah, they're uh, gonna decline, it was. AJ slipped and just kind of grabbed seven's feet. Seven somehow managed to keep his feet and make the catch. The good news is his momentum took him out of bounds because if he turns that up, he's got one blocker and nothing but Zach Zundel between him and the end zone. Tell you, number one. Easton Fuentes popped the quarterback, and Max Rodriguez popped the receiver. That's they earned every one of those five yards there. <laughs> it was a nice physical play. The Falcons run one on. We'll have to get a timeout here. That'll be the Falcons' second timeout of we'll, uh, the half. We'll be right back. AA and a Windshield and Glass is a proud sponsor of the Bushland Falcons. We are your one-stop shop, and we'll get it done right. We are a family-owned and operated business for over 35 years, and we specialize in windshield replacement installation and rock chip repair. We offer scheduled appointments in our shop, or we'll come to you with our mobile service. Call us today at 806-353-9119 or fill out our contact form at aaawindshieldglass.com to get started. See clearly with AA&A Windshield and Glass. No one said living here was simple. They just said it was worth it. This land wasn't easy to settle. More than 30 years in business will teach you that. Her elements are fierce and forceful. Amarillo can take anything thrown her way. Your body shop should too. Loki's Body Shop, built for Amarillo. All right. All right, they're trying to, I think I got your color closer. It's hard, you know, with these stadium lights, they're crazy, so. It's kind of dark in the middle, lighter on the edges, which is really weird for a stadium to be that way. Trips left, single right. Quick pass again, over the middle, number oh, what seven. What a job by number seven to catch that ball. He is a big target. We saw that, they went to him early on that slant. That's the first time they've gone back to him on that inside slant from that slot spot, and he is a big target. Yeah, and Slade Perry had great coverage. The ball was just thrown high. He got his hands on it. and It's one of the hardest routes to defend. It's the easiest route to, to jump. Oh, they make a move. Can, oh, nice tackle. It was, uh, you can hear the wind picking up. Did Jackson get in there and get it? It's, I think that's Austin Ryder, number eight, from across the field came over and made the play. It was Austin Ryder. Saved a touchdown. First and goal, Mules. And what a job. What a job. Don't. Don't, don't get one for Taunton, but Jackson Fetch. So Austin Ryder held the line. Jackson Fetch came in and just, what a sure tackle. Second down and goal. Ball's gonna be at about the four. 
Clock ticking 2.30 to go in this first half. You know, here's the deal. The Mules really want to score here because uh, Falcons get the ball. They would. And they'd the love to half. do it with no time. 21. If he can get the ball. Watch corner. holding. Oh. You spun Zundu around. you got to see that. Watch this. Zach Zundel doesn't do a pirouette on the edge for no reason. Yeah, that's that's a telltale sign when you spin them around completely like that. Man. Here's what I'll tell you, 214 to they're, go they're is a go long two. time for that Falcon offense. They're going to go for two. No, nope, oh, to me, he's not going to look get at it. Colton Reynolds and Austin Ryder meeting at the quarterback. Dude, Colton Reynolds was a missile. Untouched. Yeah, he shot through that A-gap. We haven't attacked the A-gaps as much this year, but doing it right there was beautiful. Well, I may have wished I'd brought my heavier uh, jacket for this <laughs> is all said and done. It has blown in. It has blown in. A lot of blankets down here in the student section. We may not be inside, inside, but we're better inside. Oh, we. So there's going to be 2.14 to go. Plenty of time for this Falcon offense. Tanner Adams along with Max Rodriguez back there for the Falcons. Rhett Rill still out rehabbing his entry, but you can tell he's a lineman. Man, he's in shorts and short sleeves and just doesn't seem to be missing a beat down here on the sideline. That was Aaron's attire no matter the time of year. Shorts and a hoodie. That's all he ever wore. I'm like, how do you wear it year-round? Ooh, they faked the onside, Falcons. We were ready. We're paying attention. You almost wonder, what, what's the sign there? If if you see something, obviously you're going to do it. They're going to risk. The, oh, no, nope, nope. it's going to be taken up short. Slade up Perry 30, up to the 37. 7, 38-yard line. He wasted no time when he caught that. Got as much as he could, got down, saved some clock. 209 here is the Falcons. Had the Jasper Plumbing first down at the 37-yard line, 63 yards away from. I'd take a shot right off the bat. I, would I mean, too. you've got, they've had to hold Max, and he's not in right now. Unless he's in it running back. He's not. But Zach Zundel is in his spot, and he's just as fast. Oh, you're going to go to Tanner. Oh, and he's got blocking. boy. And Kenny, he's gone. Oh, he's he gone. He is gone. 63 yards. And watch the blocking out in front of this. Can we? Oh, oh but you do it. get to see Tanner run away. The new vision touchdown. Tanner Adams. Whew. You know, I, I was kind of joking that Tanner, he, he hasn't been that local legend out through the game because every like he lost his mind last week with four touchdowns, seven catches, 170 yards, and then DJ breaks the school record and for touchdowns. And I think he's making his case loud and clear tonight. There's the snap, hold, kick. Kick good. is good. 159 to go, Falcons strike back. We'll be right back. Procreate Construction is a regional concrete place and finish company designed from the ground up to give you solid professional service. Based in Amarillo, Procrete serves residential, commercial, and industrial construction industries. High standards of professionalism and quality are our benchmarks. We know your construction project requires a company that is equipped with the tools, knowledge, and experience to complete the work as promised with a focus on details. Call 806-318-3820 or go online to learn more about Procrete Construction at ProcreteNow.com. Welcome back. All right. So I we went said, with a new color. That looks much better. We said 209 looked like it was an eternity. It took 10 seconds 10 for the seconds. Falcons to hit the new vision touchdown. 63 yards, screen pass, and H. Tanner 
he made a lot happen with his speed, but shout out to that offensive line because they had a convoy that opened up that crease in front of him. You saw. Yeah, Logan had a good shot of it. We just didn't, didn't get on the replay, but there were four, Cole three Humphrey, or four. Jake right White, Ty Morse, Jace Fisk. They're all pulling out there. I don't know if it was Ty. I know it was Jace. I know it was Holt. I know it was uh, Jake White. And they pulled. And all right, now we got Purcell back. He got his breather. Yeah, got to get a holder. <laughs> Wind's coming in. High kick over there, taking about the two. Oh, he oh, called a fair He catch. let it bounce. That ball's still loose. It looked like he I might have got, got on it. Oh, he shot out all the way out here. Yeah, no, that ball was still loose. They weren't on it. Whoever was on the ground for them did not have the ball because Falcon football. Look who comes up with it. Ty Morris. I mean, Ty, Ty not Ty Morris. Ty Purcell. Ty Purcell. Sorry. Ty Purcell does it all. Well, I saw when I said it kicked back out. Ty's on the back side of this because he's the last one down there almost, right? He kicks out, and all of a sudden, he's struggling for it. I'm like, how did, how did it kick out? <laughs> Which is crazy. It kicked out of the back of the pile. Yeah, the Falcons were, were like yanking on it. And you could tell when the pile landed that the ball was still in the middle. Yeah, for sure. And then it kicks backwards, which, or well, I guess forward for them. But it kicks back towards us, and then Ty's right there to get on top of it. Falcons come back out. I take a shot. But, oh, 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 DJ, get on it. DJ's on it. Not a big, I mean, it's a loss. Still a minute 50 to go. Still plenty of time. We'll fix that snap. Second and 18. Will Tanner Adams stop and go route down right, <laughs> right out here? Oof. You know, they're bringing their safeties more to this side. You almost wonder, do you go by, Do you go the other direction? No, get out here to Zach Zundel. Zach can get a little, get us back at least part of that. About half. Looks like he'll be back, right back to the li original line of scrimmage. Minute 21 to go. Falcons to have one timeout left. Yeah, they're shading towards Tanner. Unfortunately, that means they're shading to the short side of the field, too, right now. Okay, now they shift it over. Well, we're loading it up over there on the right side. We're leaving Tanner one-on-one. -on -one. Makes you wonder if you're not saying, all right, what can you do there, number three, to try to slow him down? Oh, and the Falcons will use their final timeout. All right, with that, we'll be right back. AA and a Windshield and Glass is a proud sponsor of the Bushland Falcons. We are your one-stop shop and we'll get it done right. We are a family-owned and operated business for over 35 years and we specialize in windshield replacement installation and rock chip repair. We offer scheduled appointments in our shop or we'll come to you with our mobile service. Call us today at 806-353-9119 or fill out our contact form at aaawindshieldglass.com to get started. See clearly with AA and A Winchell and Glass. No one said living here was simple. They just said it was worth it. This land wasn't easy to settle. More than 30 years in business will teach you that. Her elements are fierce and forceful. Amarillo can take anything thrown her way. Your body shop should too. Loki's Body Shop, built for Amarillo. <laughs> Should have played that after the uh, after the first play from scrimmage early. All right, 121 to go in the first half. DJ drops back. No pressure at all. Plenty of time to throw, and he gets a little oh, bit high. Oh, just a little high for Slade Perry. Keep the offense on. No, no reason not to here. <laughs> Definitely have one on one out here with Tanner and, and Zundel. Zundel slant in. That'll take the safety with him, and that'll leave uh, Tanner one on one. 
Uh, no. They're leaving. Oh, now they're bringing all sorts of help this way, which leaves Stratton Malloy one on one. There's Zach. Touchdown, Touchdown Zach Zundel! He's back! Zach overcoming injuries early. Watch the 32 the yard touchdown. Wow, what a play. And what great play design. See this replay again. This time they use Tanner as the decoy. Zach gets behind the defense. The safety couldn't get there. What'd you say? Kick up, kick good, and it's 42 to 12. A minute six to go before half, and we'll be back. Whether you need a building to grow your business or you simply need more space for a backyard workshop, look no further than Tightwire Construction. Kurt and his team will get you the most out of your metal building and take pride in exceeding your needs with great customer service. To talk about your next project, give Kurt a call at 806-683-6842 or visit tightwireconstruction.com. And as always, Go Falcons! In need of an adjustment after a night of cheering on the Falcons? Lovett Chiropractic is here for you. Visit lovettchiro.com or give them a call at 806-358-7106 and they will have you back on top of your game in no time. Welcome back. 106 to go, Falcons. We got the ball, what, at 209? Yes. And we've scored twice? <laughs> yes, in the last minute three. But we can almost get, we can get two more scores given that. <laughs> high kick. Oh, it is real high. He calls for a fair catch. He does not call for a fair catch. No, and we almost got there before he did. Oh, oh. that is not. It's going to be a personal foul. Something was said or done. No, it wasn't a person. What did they call it? It's on Colton. Well, at least Colton's talking to the ref. It was what? He just said it was against the Falcons. The only thing I can think is that it was kick catch interference. But I that should have been I thought he called, but he should have thrown that immediately. It came in really late. All right, here comes Great the work on the camera. That color is looking good. Oh, he gets a hand on him, and he gets out of that. Great job by 21. Tarango, man, just you can't be hitting him late. He got away with it. I think because seven didn't go to the ground. They'll get him off the field. <laughs> you hear Reynolds up here. What were you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Just. Well, I'll tell you what, 21. He's a load, isn't he? Well. Oh, ball's out. Ball's on the ground. Everybody's letting him hear it. But here's what's crazy. If they don't, if they call the fumble, Muleshoe actually picked it up and three was heading. I think we got a timeout. They took a timeout. Coach Reynolds is having a conversation with the referee. The ball clearly comes out and then they blow the play dead. Interesting. Sometimes you wish you could just know, be a fly on the wall for some of those conversations. Yeah, I'm gonna take a real quick break here. Wow, 
welcome back. 50 seconds to go. Safe to say nobody was pleased with that call on either side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, no one. Second down and six. It's a long six. Stay in their same formation. They've been in most of the night. Seven's in that slot. Need to watch him. They have the wind behind them, so they could take a shot, but they oh, will hand not. off again. That's a little surprising. And did, I wonder, did they think they were going to surprise somebody? I don't know. That was an interesting play call, but we'll take a quick break. Whether you need a building to grow your business or you simply need more space for a backyard workshop, look no further than Tightwire Construction. Kurt and his team will get you the most out of your metal building and take pride in exceeding your needs with great customer service. To talk about your next project, give Kurt a call at 806-683-6842 or visit tightwireconstruction.com. And as always, Go Falcons! In need of an adjustment after a night of cheering on the Falcons? Lovett Chiropractic is here for you. Visit LovettChiro.com or give them a call at 806-358-7106 and they will have you back on top of your game in no time. As cold as the officials look right now, I have a feeling we're going to see them in jackets in the second half. They were standing there. Surely they brought in their them, arms. Right? Gosh, look at the weather. Did you so, know when winter, when fall arrives, it arrives in a day. Third down and seven. 44 seconds to go. Quarterback drops. He looks. He's got time. Room to scramble. Oh, he steps away from Jackson Fetch. Pushed out of bounds. They're showing That's a first gonna down. That's going to be a first down. That was a great run by the quarterback. Because Man, he I, is elusive, isn't I he? I thought Jackson Fetch had him. He had the angle to get there. And he hit him. He just stepped out of it. Sure would like to see some eight gap pressure here. 38 seconds. Drops back, looks like he throws that high pass. Get up, Jess. Nice. Zundo with great coverage. Make sure he does not interfere. Yeah, you watch this Pro Creek replay. He just does a really good job on the coverage. No interference. Just step for step. Does a good job watching the receiver's eyes. Got his hands up right at the right time. I think we're starting to see a healthy Zach Zundel. You know, he came into the year coming off ankle surgery. Oh, Charlie Pitt. That's a big time play. He got some help from his buddy Easton Fuentes. Everybody's got to hustle back. Only 20 seconds left. Seven get set for him. They're going to have one shot here because they're running so much time. How do you not snap the ball? It's going to be their last play. No. Oh, that, that is a home clock. Look that, at that. That is a home clock. The home clock stops no at way. one when he's on. He's, he, still on he's the crossing field. the numbers, and this clock stops. We're watching it. Wow. Hey, some places home field advantage matters, and Mulesher just proved that their clock operator is a he, – he's part of the team. Which I like home fields, man. That's why you get the you get it at home. 
So they're gonna get one more shot at this. One second left in this first half. Oh, and he's got, oh, there's gonna be a hold. I just don't understand. If you're the quarterback, you know there's one second. You've got to throw that ball in the end zone. Like, give your team a chance to score. So we'll turn that down, and that'll be the end of the first Lovett Chiropractic first half. We'll head to halftime. We'll be back here in a few minutes. We'll get you the band, but we'll be back. Adobe Wall Stoneworks, Justin Howe here. Listen, I can't believe it, but this year we're going to celebrate our 20th anniversary. The Texas Panhandle has been against society's influences that are threatening today's families. By offering free mentoring programs to young people ages 8 to 18, retreats, and character building presentations for students in the schools, Hope Choice is changing culture one heart at a time. Learn more about the mentoring programs, events, how to volunteer, or become a financial partner by visiting HopeChoice.com. That's HopeChoice.com. Plumbing problems, large or small, they can fix them all. Whether it's residential, commercial, new construction, or remodel and repair, more people call Jasper's Plumbing for sewer, water, and gas repair than any other company in our area, and you should too. Jasper's is a third generation plumbing company proudly serving Falcon Nation. Melanie and Jeremy Scott with Texas Plains Real Estate Group at Keller Williams.
Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for the new year, Mighty M. Adobe Wall Stoneworks, Justin Howe here. Listen, I can't believe it, but this year we're going to celebrate. Keller Williams Realty support our Bushland Falcons on and off the field. As residents of the community, our school and students' success are important to us. A successful school drives home values and a strong sense of community, along with the desire to live in Bushland. To help further the community support, we have created a Bushland-only e-directory, which can be found at bushlandhomesandliving.com. Please visit our site and add your business listing for free. No one said living here was simple. They just said it. This land wasn't easy to settle. Amarillo can take anything thrown her way. Your body shop should too. Loki's Body Shop, built for Amarillo. The Bushland Falcons are a symbol of excellence in all athletics. So when the Falcons take the football field, there is no room for error. Vanessa McDonald with Lions Realty feels the same way about her job. 
As a real estate professional with almost 20 years of experience, Vanessa knows there's no room for error when it comes to your real estate goals. Fortunately, Vanessa's real estate experience, understanding of clients' needs, forward-thinking company behind her, and her love for the Bushland community all combine to form a winning team for her clients. So give Vanessa a call today for a free market analysis on your home at 806-336-7885. Once again, that's 806-336-7885. And as always, go Falcons. Pro Creek Construction is a regional concrete place and finish company designed from the ground up to give you solid professional service. Based in Amarillo, Pro Creek serves residential, commercial, and industrial construction industries. High standards of professionalism and quality are our benchmarks. We know your construction project requires a company that is equipped with the tools, knowledge, and experience to complete the work as promised with a focus on details. Call 806-318-3820 or go online to learn more about ProCrete Construction at ProCreteNow.com. All right, well, welcome everyone to the uh, Contractors Wholesale Halftime Show. We'll give you a quick view here. 5.28 to go in halftime right now, but boy, the Falcons, 42 to 12. Stephen, what's the recap of those scores for the Falcons? So, offense started fast with the 55 oh, yard Oh, hold on. Try it again. So, offense started fast with the 55 yard K giving you touchdown on that screen quick screen over there next up was tanner adams he had a 59 yard touchdown catch down that far sideline dj with the four yard touchdown run made it 21 easton fuentes after getting stuffed on fourth down and one would not be denied the next time we handed him the ball so ty purcell 86 yard interception he gets hawked down He's doing everything he can to get to that end zone. Taken down on the three-yard line. Next play, Easton Fuentes hammers it in for the touchdown, making it 28. The next was Tanner Adams with a quick. Now with 2.09 left in the first half, we said as Muleshoe kicked off, we thought, hey, plenty of, plenty of time for this Falcon offense to go down and score. <laughs> they actually went down and scored twice. It took 10 seconds to, for Tanner Adams to take a screen pass, 63 yards as the left side of the offensive line. Jake White, Holt Humphrey, and Jace Fisk came out and just gave him a convoy, gave him just the slightest crease. And when you give Tanner Adams a crease, he's gone. And then we got the ball back after a Ty Purcell kickoff recovery, and we go with a 32-yard touchdown to Zach Zundel, his first touchdown of the year. You know, we mentioned on the broadcast, Zach Zundel coming off ankle surgery. He, you you he kind of Coach Reynolds kind of eased him in, gave him a pitch count early in the season, and now you're seeing him healthy and just another weapon for DJ as we head into district and Falcons. <laughs> what well, you know? <laughs> the offense is humming. Yeah, we talked about wanting to get off to a quick start. Uh, we we didn't let off the gas at all uh, for the most part, so it's been more than a a quick start. It's been. Uh, <laughs> an explosion yeah it, it has been it has been and i tell you what i think we've known this we've talked about it and we continue to surprise teams with the speed that we put on the field absolutely you know i think tanner surprises them zach surprises them uh jackson fetch playing that middle linebacker spot surprises them almost every time and, and dj even for that matter i think surprises most teams uh 
And so we we talked about it in the offseason about how much speed this Falcon team has. You know, we had questions on, you know, defense. We had a little question on the offensive line. We lost a lot of seniors, right? And uh, so there was a lot of question marks coming in. I think we've seen that start to solidify now across the board. Oh, man, that offensive line, Dawson, has had plenty of time tonight. And you can't give enough credit to it, you know. And I'll, and I'll say their names again. It's Jake White, it's Holt Humphrey, Jace Fisk, Ty Morris, and then Charlie Pitt, and Cannon Melvin getting some snaps over there at right tackle as well. They, they have held off, especially tonight, this mule shoe D-line. And with all the weapons, you're, you see it. It's 42, I mean, and it doesn't – and if we don't turn the ball over on the three-yard line, you know, down here on downs – it's half a hundred in the first half. So put yourself in mule shoes. Shoes. <laughs> what, what do you do to – what do you change in the second half? You know, there's two things I'm looking to do if I'm mule shoe. One, I'm trying to get out of here healthy. And so I'm going to try to eat up some of that clock, limit the number of plays in the second half. But the second thing I'm going to do is I'm looking to build on momentum, kind of like we did in the second half against Canadian. We knew we'd spotted them 35 points, and 35 was going to be a very hard number to come back from. But we also felt like if we could begin to mount a comeback, it would you know, it'd build momentum for the rest of the year. And the Falcons did. We got it within seven in the second half. We made it a game. We saw a lot of things that we were able to build on heading into the home stretch of free district and now for week one of district. And if I'm Yoshu, I'm looking for that. I want to see my I want to see the fight that my young men have. I want to see him battle. But I'm also going to try to find ways to maybe not be so quick to the line and try to limit the number of snaps because I really want to get out of this game healthy because it's just one game yeah. and everything that they their goals the playoffs and all those things are still right in front of them maybe not a district championship but the rest of it's still there if they can just find some things to build on and keep their key guys healthy because they've got some studs over there yeah yeah they do yeah and I think if if, if I look at the Bushland side as they run in you know I think keep doing what you're doing don't you know, the one thing that, that I've, I've never liked and I've never thought was a good thing is to let your foot off the gas. Not at all. You know, I think you keep, you keep pushing. You, you keep the, the pedal down. You don't change who you are. And I know a lot of people think differently about that, but I don't. I, I just you. think you. You're you, in a great rhythm. Keep that rhythm. Because don't, don't get your kids out of that. Yeah. You, you know, and so you, you just got to keep pushing. We'll need it next week against River Road and then. You know, shallow water and Dow Harder right after. And so I'm with you. Now, I may get some of those reps with a few of our younger guys. You may see some uh, new faces, but in some of these key roles, just to get them some experience. But I'm not taking my foot. Everything that we do, I'm with you. Keep doing it. Yeah, absolutely. All right. We'll switch off so you don't see our uh, belly buttons, which is about what you'll see from that view. Oh, I better get our uh, scoreboard up too, Stephen. We better put third quarter up too. So Falcons will take the opening kickoff of the second half. Max Rodriguez and Tanner Adams back. We'll see if they'll even try to. No, well, they're going to kick it to Tanner. They do, and he's going to go right up the middle. And up the middle he goes. He breaks out to the right side. He's got some running room. He's going to cross midfield and, and finally pull. Oh, you got to throw a flag. That's going to get a flag. You can't. That's. Come on, you'll shoot. Can't do that. Just like we couldn't do it down here. Like Those are the kind of things. doesn't matter which side it's on. You just really would like to see it. So that'll tack on another 15. That was always not what you want to see. Tanner, come over here. You can see him kind of rotating around his neck. Hopefully nothing major. Just That's a hard hit to take late when you're not expecting it. it and it's just cold. And you, you know. You're going out of bounds, right? You're, yeah, so, you've so, so you up. started pulling up anyway. 
Well, I tell you, you've got uh, Austin Ryder out here. And look at Oh, Max. and that's going to be touchdown Falcons. Max Rodriguez with the 23-yard new vision touchdown. What a carry. One play. And you, you said his name. Austin Ryder sealed that edge with an incredible block. Yeah, so Austin Ryder out here one-on-one. -on -one. I'm thinking, hey, that's a great opportunity. It's, there's two opportunities when that happens. It's the blocking <laughs> opportunity. Yes. Because now they're isolated out here. There's nobody else here. There's nobody else on the side of the field. So, oh, wait. Did it get called back? Oh, they did not call holding on that. That is a terrible call. They certainly did. We're going to take that back. Sorry. I didn't see the flag, and if they called that on Austin, either. that's a terrible call. Austin had a great block. He and sealed it. He pulled his body inside, sealed the, uh, the defender to the, in, to the outside. Come on, headlinesman. Oh, DJ fakes him on. Rolls fake. right. He gets, uh, he gets it up to Slade. Slade oh. finds a block downfield. What a great job by Slade coming out of the backfield, but DJ with the yeah. fake. Oh, absolutely. Great play flake. Stratton Malloy blocking downfield. That's going to bring up second down. We're going to call it about four. This time we're going to go Cade Gavinia. And touchdown. touchdown. Can't take that one off the board. 15 yards. Cade Gavinia, new vision touchdown on the jet sweep. Sorry, I'd mark this down to 41. Oh, so that's that's our 48-12, 11-14 to go in the third. So really, Dude. two touchdowns. <laughs> yeah. In three plays, but. Sid, great kick up. Very good. 49-12, 11-14 to go. We'll be right back. Procreate Construction is a regional concrete place and finish company designed from the ground up to give you solid professional Welcome back. Falcon strike quick. Up by 30, 40, 37 points now, 49 to 12. 46 seconds quick. Taking it about the 17. He's going to come up and he's going to meet a wall. Did Somehow a good job he pushes carrying forward. The pile for five yards. He does. He gets it up to the 30. So Mules will take it there. First and 10 at the 30 as they start 21 Elliott Hemphill in on the tackle there. Elliott had a big fumble recovery on a kickoff last week. I like being this close to the band. It's kind of rocking here. Hope you can hear it at home. Based on the sound meter on this, they can definitely hear it. <laughs> the, the pride of the panhandle, the Bushland Falcon marching band. Twins down here at the bottom of your screen, a single up top. He drops oh. back, quick throw. Oh, a little Good overthrow. Good coverage by Max. I'm they're not gonna sure. Get, it's they're going to get an illegal man downfield. Ah, uh, 55. Yeah, he was way downfield. Is that their left guard? Or is that their tackle? That's I don't know. But he was fast because he was 10 yards downfield. Oh, that's their left. It is his left tackle. Man. And to come from where he came from, that's a long way to go. That is. They're looking a little blue on the white, isn't it? Got another spammer on the page. I'll go get them. I'll adjust the camera here in a minute. All right. We got twins on both sides this time. He drops back. He looked at that slant again. Woo! And great coverage by Colton Reynolds. It was great coverage. 
mess with this real quick. Pass to number one, Quezada falls incomplete. It's going to bring a third and ten for the Mules. All right, we'll see if I got that out of there. Well, that looks pretty good. A lot of happy birthdays to you, Mr. Welch, well, on the thank, feed. Thank you, thank you, everyone. I stopped celebrating them a while ago, but they, they, they keep coming. Deep downfield, hit oh, number seven. Oh, what a throwing catch. I tell you what. Seven what runs a, a great route, just ran away from A.J. Marquez. And he's and such a big target. He is. 15-yard gain will be a first down. And A.J.'s not slow. Like, that's a – He's running away from some speed. Trips over here on the bottom of your stream, one to the top. They're showing blitz, and we take it. There goes Colton Reynolds. Oh, and they run right by it. They do. Colton comes back and almost gets him. 21, what an effort. That was a great job. Enough Met. to get the first down, but he got met five yards short of the first down and did a great job running through contact to get there. Come back out, twins on both sides. And off, he's going to bounce it out that left side. Oh, no, Colton Reynolds makes sure he doesn't bounce it outside. It's a two-yard tackle for a loss. Great job, Colton Reynolds. Good start here for the Falcons to the Adobe Wall. Stonework second half. Thankful to love it, Chiropractic, for sponsoring our first half. And Adobe Wall sponsoring the second. Quick pass. Oh, what a tackle by Zach Zundel. He come up and met him with force. Be no gain. Zach Zundel's having himself a night. We will drop back into coverage here. Off back he looks, he wants to go over the middle and there's number seven again. I'm not. But I tell you what, you've got to wrap up with him and he throws one of ours down. <laughs> Ty Purcell comes over and makes sure he is going to go down. And then Ty's first one to help him up. But man, it's third and 12, I get it, but why drop into soft coverage there? Seven catches the ball, a couple yards short of the first down and then you got to Wrestling to the ground. They're going to, oh, he's got a blocker. Oh, the blocker does him no good because Ty Purcell comes up and makes another play. He just shot by the blocker and knocks quarterback outside, out of bounds. Oh, sorry. Twins right. The running back, not the quarterback. Trying to get us to jump. They've watched film. Oh, what a great fight. job by. Oh, they're going to get him for a hold. Yeah, that's a are. touchdown, but it's coming back. Uh, that's coming back. Yeah, I think that was 72 out here on the edge. <laughs> that's going to make it second down and 17 now. Ball's in the 29, 9.05 to go.
Oh, low snap, but he gets it. So, somehow he gets it handed off to 10. Oh, we're going to get a foul. Oh, that's bad. They just got their feet tangled up, and he he did fall down, but that the guy right on top of the plate didn't throw the flag. It came from all the way at the back judge. The line judge is standing on top of the play. He sees it happen and doesn't throw a flag. I think he waved it off. No, he didn't. There's just a whole herd of them there kind of holding him up and he's still kind of running and he just trips over legs. You're in tight, quarterback hands off, up the middle. He cuts back, now he bounces it back outside. Nowhere to run, really. Good job, Max Rodriguez, Ty Purcell, Easton Fuentes, Jackson Fetch, just all. a host of Falcons. Reynolds just got all over Purcell for that late hit over there that really wasn't a late hit. I'll tell you, it doesn't matter if the score. There he is, seven on the slant. Ah! Cuts down mules. It, it doesn't matter what the score is. They're going to coach these boys up. So we talked about that slant. You know, I'd, I'd come back till, they, till we stopped it. I agree. 8.15 to go. They're going for two. Oh, deflected. He finally oh, Reynolds. It. <laughs> he wanted that to be a strip because he's going to take that to the house, get a couple points. So 49-18 here. 8.15 to go in the Adobe Wall Stoneworks third quarter. Stayed with the Sierra during the break. All right. Let's see what the Falcons have in store. I think we're going to kick it to uh, Mr. Zundel. I mean, not uh, Zundel, Mr. Adams. Yeah. Yes, we they are. They just keep daring him. He's going to come back up the middle. He bounces it back out to the right. Oh, they cover that right side a little better. Oh, but he sneaks through, but steps just out of bounds. Just ran out of real estate over there. but not before bringing it up to the almost the 40 yard line. We're well over 100 yards, probably closer to 150 in return yards here for Mr. Adams. All right, let's see what Mr. Jaco and crew have in store for us here. 808, put Sunday in motion. Ball start. I didn't see who it was that time. Kind of just looked like the play started. TJ takes it. We're going to hand it. Oh! Blow the whistle. Okay, Blow okay, the whistle. Okay. Man, Slate oh, Perry. get hurt, man. I mean, his four progress had clearly stopped. Just blow the whistle. 
Perry stays in the backfield. Twins on both sides. Pull that. Quick inside. Oh, over to Stratton. Ooh. Woo. Stratton takes a big shot up top. Oh, he did. That's a borderline right, targeting call. Right under the chin. He's like Justin Helmets now. Yeah, that's – you can't hit that high like that. That's textbook targeting. Third and three. Falcons looking to convert this Jasper Plumbing first down here. Keep the drive alive. Snaps back. TJ looks. He wants to go deep, and he oh, does, and he's got Zach, Zach. Zung. No. Oh, oh, my goodness. In 21 got his hand in there right at the right time. That was a really good coverage. That was a really good throw. I mean, it's good by everybody. It's a good route. 21 just made a good play. Yep. We will punt for the first time today. Endo ran a short kick. Looks like it goes out about the 29. That ball's awfully hard on a cold night. Yeah. We call it the 28. So we're here in the third quarter, 6.55. They're going to come out with twins over here on this right side. Hand off up the middle. He pops it oh back out. Over pursuit by the what Falcons. What a move. What a job. A.J. Marquez tra kept tracking, kept chasing, and finally went and got him. But, man, 21 made a man miss in the hole that – was awfully impressive, and I think it was Jackson Fetch, and he doesn't miss. That was a heck of a move. They're right back up to the line. Trips left, one down here at the bottom. Drop back, quick throw on that slant. Oh, Ooh. that pops up in the air. Aiden Hall was coming to help with the tackle. I think if he if he would have looked up, he, 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 yeah. his head was down a little bit because um, he was he was focused where he was headed. He was. Stacked over here on the bottom of the screen. Hand off to number 10, but Falcons. Colton Reynolds, A.J. Marquez. Maybe a yard. Nope, no game. Uh, no game. We haven't seen the quarterback scramble lately. Have not. That should have been a false start. I yep. was about to say, he stepped forward. Yep, he did. It took him a second, but it's like, are they going to call it? Well, and he's pointing to where the blitz is coming from. And, and it's fine. You think, oh, he's just calling the play. And then I think they realize, oh, he stepped forward. Like, Yeah. Yeah, the pointing was fine. It was the step that got him. I mean, he was already back and reset before they decided. Hey, we, oh, wait, we better call that. I think Reynolds may have helped him make that call on the sideline. He's like, you, and he's like, oh yeah, he did step. He was quarterback drops. He looks heavy pressure, and he's good go job, down. Jackson Fetch. That's his Pro Creek replay. Man, it was a jailbreak. Yeah, if Fetch doesn't get him down, Charlie Pitt was right behind him. <laughs> I 
Isaiah Rodriguez coming in. He dropped his mouthpiece. He had to come back for it. That'd be fourth down and a country mile. Translated fourth down and 26. Nice punt. Handled by Z I mean by Tanner. Tanner. Tanner on that right side. He's not going to get the corner though. Oh. Come on. He does not quite get that corner. Seven gave him a little extra effort. A good step and a half out of bounds. All right, 434. Falcons take over after that punt and a short return by Tanner Adams. They're going to have it at the 25, looks like. Kind of sounds like a soccer match breaking out below us. Up the middle. They literally tackled the football. They did. But Slade Perry was not letting it go. Interesting, Slade's been the feature back tonight. He has, and he's done an amazing job. Proud of my guy. He got his first varsity touchdown, and now all of a sudden he's lighting it up everywhere. Oh, what a – Tanner just patiently waits for something to I'm open. I'm telling you, and Max and Slade blocked it perfect. It's one of those that on the box score won't look fancy, but, man, perfect execution. Now we'll go the other way with it. Same and Slade play. back out there again blocking. It's going to be about a yard short. Not no, first no, down. No, they that did That should be first down. Yeah, they finally call it. Look at DJ. Oh, DJ what a read. Up. I'll live to find another day. Hey, I like that from DJ. He's like, listen, there's no sense in it's. <laughs> These yard marker guys are really struggling. Y'all can't see him because the scoreboard's blocking it, but. DJ looks, quick pass out of here again to Max Rodriguez, and he's going to come around the corner, and he gets the first. Oh, and he's tiptoes. Great job, tiptoeing, getting a little bit extra. Man, if they're going to blow it that, dead that far back, blow your whistle louder so he doesn't get popped. Oh, mule shoe. Look at him. Oh, two of them this down. Can be. They made a signal, and two guys just fell down and laid flat on the – like, oh, we're – Oh, that was pretty bad. Well, <laughs> I got to say, that's the first time I've seen that. All right, well, with that, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. AA and a Windshield and Glass is a proud sponsor of the Bushland Falcons. We are your one-stop shop, and we'll get it done right. We are a family-owned and operated business for over 35 years, and we specialize in windshield replacement installation and rock chip repair. We offer scheduled appointments in our shop, or we'll come to you with our mobile service. Call us today at 806-353-9119 or fill out our contact form at aaawindshieldglass.com to get started. See clearly with AA and A Winchell and Glass. No one said living here was simple. They just said it was worth it. This land wasn't easy to settle. More than 30 years in business will teach you that. Her elements are fierce and forceful. Amarillo can take anything thrown her way. Your body shop should too. Loki's Body Shop, built for Amarillo. So we're back, and this is terrible because one, two players laid down, one of them being number one. He <laughs> just kind of laid there. And only one went off. And, he's, and, and they only made one of them go off. And they're leaving one on the field. Wow. Never seen that. Which tells you he wasn't hurt. Like, tells you everything you need to know about it. Look at Slade. Oh, Slade, get on the ball. He Good job, him. buddy. Good job. That ball got ripped away. Oh, 
Quaid's not happy with himself. No, he got AJ. his arm ripped. Oh, no, Jackson Fetch Jackson comes, Fetch in. comes in the game. At first I thought it was three for a second, but no. Slay did a good job getting back on the ball. Second and 11. Man, he's had an amazing night. You hate to. That's out here, Tanner Adams. Tanner scoots around the corner. <laughs> oh, they only give him uh, about two yards. Jackson Fetch's block there was awesome. I wish I'd have hit replay. He comes, he puts his hands up so no one can say block in the back, and then he just kind of hip checks the defender all the way out of bounds. I actually saw one of their players do the same thing to us. He walked up, he had his hands up, and then he pops that little hip in there. I wasn't that smart when I put all right, twins on both sides. Oh, they're DJ bringing dropped. the house, and look at the line, pick it up. Oh, they hit DJ's hand, but I think he gets rid of it. Appreciate DJ in that pocket, but man. That was a long time. Pull that, that was thing a long down. Job. There was a lot of open grass down or turf down here um, outside the hash marks this way. But you can tell. I think they probably told him, hey, no unnecessary shots. He ran that one over there on the sideline earlier. In a 49-18 game, you don't want your starting quarterback taking any more hits than he has to. 2.32 to go in this third quarter. Fourth down. What a throw. What a catch. What a catch. Oh, and then three gets up and takes a shot at Tanner Adams. We're going to get an extra 15 yards here. Look at this throw, catch. And then he shoves his head into the ground and kind of steps on him, and they throw the flag. That's a frustration foul right there. <laughs> I mean, Tanner <laughs> Adams, he just – has dominated that matchup all night. Falcons inside the AA and A red zone. Oh, what a fake. And it's going to open it oh. up. Oh, oh Max! That's it. That was oh. a rocket it from was. DJ, though. It was. There wasn't much touch on it because I think it had to be or Max runs out of the back of the end zone. Yeah, for sure. And so there's some awareness there by DJ of I've got to put this on him. But, man, that thing was a bullet coming at him. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to try to catch that <laughs> one. Not with man. cold hands. Not with cold hands. That ball was hard. I think we're going to see uh, – Shock in motion. False start. Oh, look at that. What a pancake. <laughs> Jake White, he had pancake 78. Man, Jake's a big boy. He is. And, man, he loves playing on that line. And 78's not a small man. No. But uh, Jake put him on his back like it wasn't much. Second down and 15 for the Falcons. Ball is on the 17-yard line. They can get a first down without scoring. Zundel comes in. We did it again. And he's going to come out and take a break. Ty Askins will come in. Espy will coach yes. him up on that. And that's hard. When you're the left guard, you're the ball's right there at your right hand. Just gives DJ a little more room to get a few yards. Oh, touchdown. Oh, there it is. Outside shoulder. Touchdown, Kate Gavinia. Watch this procreate replay. 23 yard touch, Kate Gavinia touchdown. He threw it back around to that outside shoulder. Going to put us at 55 to 18 here in Muleshoe for the Falcons. 2.15 to go in this third quarter. Falcons continue to add on. There's your snap. Good hole. Woo, almost in there. Six but that Carol. is good. Another great kick. 56 18, 2.15 to go in the third. We'll be right back. The Bushland Falcons are a symbol of excellence in all athletics. So when the Falcons take the field, there is no room for error. Vanessa McDonald with Lions Realty feels the same way about her job. 
As a real estate professional with over 20 years of experience, Vanessa knows there's no room for error when it comes to your real estate goals. Vanessa's real estate experience combined with a forward-thinking company behind her makes for a winning team for her clients. Give Vanessa a call for a free home analysis at 806-336-7885. Boom. Welcome back. 2.15 to go in the third. Falcons go down and score again to bring this game 56 to 18. Okay, Gavinia with his third New Vision touchdown of the night. He's trying to wrestle away that local legend outfitter player of the game from Tanner Adams. He is high kick. Going to be taken at about Fair the 25. Caught. Fair catch. What was the what was your prediction on this one? I said Falcons by 17. And I didn't give one. I thought that it would I told you earlier I thought I was gonna be wrong after the first quarter. <laughs> but glad I'm wrong big time in the other direction. Absolutely. All right, let's see what Mule she's drawn up over there on the sideline since their last time in twins on both sides. They're going to hand it to 10. He shoots back inside. Oh, oh. They, they, it's going to come back for holding. Yep, it is. And that that's sad for Mule Shoot because that was a great run. He read it well. I think that hold came right at the place he cut in. If you look, that flag's thrown yeah. right where he cut back inside. So assuming it's that right guard. Yeah. We know they pulled, they had the pulling guard, and I think when he blocked, he just had his arm out instead of, it was more of a, I'm going to wrap you up than a block. Ball's going to be at the 26 now. Sorry, not 26, 16. First and 20. Trips over here on the right side. Drops back, he looks one on one out there on that left side. What a throw! Did he come down with no, that? Oh, he did my not, goodness. But man, Ty, that was a beautiful Ty throw. Purcell, I think, separated him from the ball because that thing. Let's see if we can oh, get, probably get it in time. Watch oh. this. Boom. Ty Purcell right there at the end. And then they bring Ty out. That looks like we're going to have uh, Tag Thrash back at safety now. So getting some of these young guys some reps. I hate this soft coverage, man, because if you get seven the ball and then let him take a step or two, he's hard to bring down. Yeah, he is. Same with number three. It was a good tackle over there by Aiden Hall. Uh-oh, number three is going to hobble off. So third down and ten. and band still rocking down here even on a cold and I bet those horns are cold right about now. Ooh, you know they are. Drops back, he look, he wants to go on that left side but he has to scramble out and he's got some green in front of him. And he's going to step oh, out Oh, look at Zundel, close the gap and he decides against trying to go get the first down. I thought he was going to turn that thing up and challenge Zundel for a second to see Is if there he a could flag? I don't see it. Oh, four's hurt. No? They're talking to Reynolds about if he... Oh. No, did they say holding? Oh, my gosh. Defensive holding? Yes, they did. Where did the flag get thrown? I didn't even see it on the ground. I didn't either. That's why I'm... I mean, as soon as it stopped play, I started looking. I don't know where it was. Okay. Uh, my guess is it has to be on the other side of the field because he runs over here, but he was looking left. Okay. Twins on both sides. First and 10 now. 38 seconds to go in this third quarter. Balls at about the 34. Quarterback tries to get a quick. Oh, oh. what a move. 
He, I mean, Mason Melvin is closing in on him, and he pumps that ball, and Mason goes, goes to bat it down, and he just ducks underneath him. Takes what, off. And that was a move. Gets eight yards, second down and two. He's been impressive tonight. Very elusive. He's going to throw this one up for grabs. Oh, oh that my Odyssey. goodness! What a catch! 81 with the one-handed catch. Watch this replay. Holy I think we got it. Holy smokes. Dude, you wow. can't get better camera work than that, Logan Robinson. What amazing camera work. But you you got to appreciate great plays when again. it comes. And look oh. at that one-handed catch. So that will be the end of the Adobe Wall Stoneworks third quarter. We'll head to the fourth with the Falcons up 56 to 18. We'll be right back. Hope Choice is a faith-based pro-life organization that assists women facing an unplanned pregnancy by providing free pregnancy tests, sonograms, educational classes, and baby supplies. Hope Choice is also helping young people and parents by taking a stand against society's influences that are threatening today's families. By offering free mentoring programs to young people ages 8 to 18, retreats, and character building presentations for students in the schools, Hope Choice is changing culture one heart at a time. Learn more about the mentoring programs, events, how to volunteer, or become a financial partner by visiting HopeChoice.com. That's HopeChoice.com. The Bushland Falcons are a symbol of excellence in all athletics. So when the Falcons take the football field, there is no room for error. Vanessa McDonald with Lions Realty feels the same way about her job. As a real estate professional with almost 20 years of experience, Vanessa knows there's no room for error when it comes to your real estate goals. Fortunately, Vanessa's real estate experience, understanding of clients' needs, forward-thinking company behind her, and her love for the Bushland community all combined to form a winning team for her clients. So give Vanessa a call today for a free market analysis on your home at 806-336-7885. Once again, that's 806-336-7885. And as always, go Falcons. Oh, welcome back. We let you watch that one play. We want to make sure we get that uh, spotting for Vanessa. Good tackle by Easton Fuentes yeah, and, and company. Short gain on that. Second down and eight now. Drops back, stand in the pocket. He's going for number seven. I tell you what, you can almost call offensive. Oh, no, that's, that's great right. coverage. It should be offensive pass interference. But I bet he calls Oh, defense. he's looking at Zundel. There's no way. I don't know that I can yeah, get to the we, end of it in time. No, no. We didn't get there. Sorry, y'all. I should have hit replay. It is not a good call. If anything, it should have been offense. I yeah, thought he was going to call offense because he had him, and then he, yeah, he he pushes to go try to get the ball. He's done it, and they both have been handsy all night, which is fine if both of you are doing it. But the push off is, is where you got to call the the pass interference, the offense. It's, it's the rare interference <laughs> call that gets called. But. Y'all, it's flat getting cold. He pumps. He ducks back in. He almost trips. What a Somehow job comes out of it. At, uh, up. Short gain on that, if any. Tommy Tabor rushing and forcing him out of bounds. They're going to call no gain on that. So second down and actually one yard loss. So Tommy Tabor with the tackle for a loss. Good job, buddy. Same formation for the Mules. He drops, he looks, he's gonna scramble. Oh, and he's got, oh, he didn't use the blocker. He was just trying to get out of bounds. Three had a really good block out here. He could cut it up behind that block and would have had a chance to maybe get the first down, even the touchdown. 
And Keith's thinking, Lyles, that's easy for you to say, <laughs> uh, standing up there, it's cold, and I didn't want to be hit. Yeah. Third down and nine now. They can still get a first down. Oh, thanks. The little things we forget. That's why it takes two of us. I like how the sidelines huddled and jumping. One, it keeps you warm, and two. Oh, intercepted! Did he get it? Yep, that's an interception. Yes, he did. Is I... that Jay Cammer? No, it's not Jay Cammer. That's Colton Riddles with the interception. Oh, I bet we didn't get it. We're too busy watching. The Falcons defense holds and comes up with a gets a turnover there in the end zone. Touchback, first and ten for the Falcons, bit the 20-yard line. And uh, Muleshoe comes away empty-handed after that drive. I just noticed their big M over there on the, that's probably their gym. That looks pretty cool, by that the way. That is a cool lit up little back. Almost looks like the Mavericks logo a little <laughs> bit from here. Uh -huh. Here come the Falcon, the handoff up the middle. I didn't see who came in. Woo, wee. Colton, Colton Reynolds. Colton Reynolds. They're there. like, hey, you got the interception. You go do it. Nice run. Split the defenders. Got a nine, about nine, nine and a half on that one. <laughs> the sideline tells them to slow down. <laughs> they kind of put their hands up like, we want to go fast. Ty Purcell in on offense here. Tag Thrash down here to us. And off Colton Reynolds, bust up the middle. Dude, he flat ran the safety over. Bowls over a guy at about the 35, gets it up to about the 37, 38 yard line. I think mark at the 38. I'll bring Reynolds out. AJ Marquez in in the backfield. Play clock down to 10. Falcons definitely running time off the clock. Get out of here. That one will go nowhere. Bodies flying everywhere. 9.25 left in this contest tonight here in Muleshoe as the Falcons on top, 56 to 18. Against the Dave Campbell's ranked number 10 You'll shoot. DJ with another six touchdown performance. False start, I would assume. Yep. Man, that wind is chilly. Um, it is. It is major league chilly. The upside to having a monitor there that we can watch, <laughs> we can actually call the play looking at the monitor. Not only, only because we have a great cameraman. I'll tell you, the camera work on that uh, number 81 from Yoshi getting the one-handed catch, he probably wants us to clip that for him. That was, a, that was great work there, Logan Robinson. Yep, I bet we could clip that and send it, get it over to Coach. He can send it to him. All right, let's see what the Falcons do. Hand off up the middle, and I tell you what, they know we're handing it off at this point. Yeah. They're like, just firing everybody. I'd like to see a, maybe a screen or a little bit, you know, take advantage of the aggressiveness. How about a tight end over the middle? Kind of an Hey, that's my favorite uh, play right there, and this is a great time for it. Stratton Malloy would agree. Let, let him run up the seam a little bit. He could run for two weeks probably with, <laughs> at this rate. I'll tell you, I, I kind of miss those seminal clock. Uh, ah, those, man. They had the down and distance. They had how oh. much time. They had everything. Well, 
Well, a 74 just mowed down part of our line and caused that whole trip up. So we now have Ty Purcell in at quarterback. Or is he just punting? He's punting. No, he was out there. I, I was going to say, I thought he was out there. I, I didn't see when they switched, to be honest. Yeah, DJ was definitely over here on the sidelines. So it looks like he'll call tonight with six more touchdowns. Had a player get out late. So now it's going to be fourth in a country mile. Oh, Whoa. over his head. Ty says, that's all right. Look at Colton this. Colton Reynolds gets it. And he hit sticks number four. The good thing about this is they just got roughing the quarterback. This is going to be a first down Falcon. Oh, my. Because they. So that's going to be a first down, yes. Yep. Oof. Personal foul, roughing the quarterback. So an automatic first down for the Falcons. This is one, and listen, I understand what we're doing. We're running out to play the game, but with 6.38 to go, you got your backup quarterback in. Let's let him run the offense. Yeah. How would you run it? Again, it goes back to what you and I were talking about earlier. Let's just play, yeah. right? You don't have to go as fast, but still, let's run the offense. Run, run what you would run in any game situation. Again, it's not about running the score. It's about getting reps for right. the second team in. Looks like we're gonna, maybe going to spread it out. Let's see. No, I'm just going to hand it off. Is that AJ? That's a good run. AJ Marquez pick up about four on first down. Jasper Plumbing first down. Second down and six, we'll call it. Nose of the ball right at the 50-yard line. You know, we're building a house right now, and Jasper Plumbing has done an amazing job on our place. If you had any plumbing work you need, highly recommend Mitch McBride and his team. Oh, that came early. <laughs> and that got was to be not a face on the mask. That he, was not on the count. He did not throw. Ty, they drug Ty. For, you see him still shaking his head over there. They yanked him down by his face mask, and they didn't call anything. Max Rodriguez now in it back there. I guess he was back there. Yeah, Max the and uh, AJ both are back there. Austin Ryder up top. Tag Thrash closest to us. Oh, Max. nice run by Max Rodriguez. The right up the gut. Runs number one over. That's another Jasper play. Plumbing first down. Clock under five minutes now. There's a really cool uh, hit your thumbstick twice in Madden and it's choose clock for you, so it goes a lot faster. We need really? that. Yeah, we need that setting. Oh, little stumble. Oh, look at Holt Humphrey with oh, a great cool. block. What? There was who nobody you, up here. Who, who, nobody's even in the vicinity of where he threw the flag. Oh, come on. What are you pointing at? There was nobody there. Unless he was so late on the flag. But when he threw the flag, there was absolutely no one in that vicinity. Man, Holt Humphrey laid a pancake on that one.
Yeah, so my my little useless fact of the day would be uh, I downloaded Madden 24 today because I took the day off. For your birthday, you rightfully birthday. should. And I have played every version. Now, this is going to tell you how old I am, but I've played every version of Madden ever made. That's my little useless fact. Hand off. Oh! Man, nowhere to go for Brecken Hall. Yeah. So, useless fact of the day, but. Three yard loss on that play. Clock ticks down to 3.30 to go. Be close to three minutes by the time this next snap takes place. I could sure go for some hot chocolate right now. Heater be fine. A heater be good. Yeah, hey, here's I, the good news. I was looking at gloves today because I looked at the temperature and went, man, I don't know where my gloves are. Oh, we do throw a little pass there. Good oh, job by Tag oh, Thrash. Tag Thrash. Does a really good job. And he got shoved really hard in the back, and it just kind of made him stumble, you know. Wow, that was not a great spot. What? <laughs> He literally got up at the, about the 37, 30, well, about the 35, 36, right, right around the 36, I believe. They're taking the uh, home field advantage just a little far. That's right. Good news is clock kicks down to 2.30 to go here. Let's see if we can pick up this third down. AJ. Not quite going to get there. It'll be about three, four yards short. What was that moving that pile? That was Cannon Melbourne just driving that ball and that line down the field. Dan, we, we really should snap a picture of how we have Starlink. Uh, Strapped oh, to the yeah. fence over there to get our internet. <laughs> we find more precarious ways to put that Starlink when necessary. But hey, it's held up well. It has less than a one percent drop percentage since we made the quick edits little tweaks and changes. And Oof. AJ will not get there, so the Falcons will turn it over on downs. Hey, thanks for everybody that joined us tonight. Uh, thank our sponsors for making all of this stuff possible. Absolutely. My wife always, she's like, y'all have too many wires. And I go, no, we have the right amount of wires to do <laughs> just, our broadcast. Just the right amount. <laughs> and it does look like a mess, but it all means something. Handoff 21 around that right side. He's been busy tonight. And he doesn't go out. And they'll wind the clock, I'm, which I'm all right with. I'm totally surprised he didn't get out of bounds, though. Yeah. You, was, he's, got, he's got a warrior spirit inside of him. He's like, I ain't done, y'all. He may be down, but we're not done. Nobody covering over here in the slot. There we go. Up the middle. There he goes. As he said, he ain't done. Man, he runs right through that arm tackle. He gets ahead of steam going. Yeah. And he... Tag Thrash came up and popped him at the end. And Tag went flying and... Signs did not. That is a load of a boy. Young man. But not. There's oh, 10. My Cuts goodness. back inside. 10 makes a great cut. They're going to tag score. it in. Nope. They will score. They're going to tack on another six there. 44 seconds in the game. Left. She scores late here in the fourth. Tag 
attempt to pull within 31 to get this. Oh, hi. Oh, he, he gets in. in. Nice job, number four. So they're going to pull within bring it 30. Down to 30. So they're just trying to get me closer to my prediction. Of they're going to score a lot more in 44 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> this is true. That's all right. At least he made one. I was like, I have no idea. I just, <laughs> I hadn't seen any film on Muleshoe at all, really. So it's like, I don't know. We don't have a common component, uh, opponent. It was like, uh, I just, I don't know. Yeah, picked the Falcons by 17, but I'll take 30 all day. You know, I was on with Lance Laundert earlier, and I said, listen, if Muleshoe can score 40, they've averaged over 40 points a game. If they could score 40, it would make me nervous. But I didn't, I just didn't feel like it was going to happen, even with the, I mean, they have a great running game. But, man, we can't, <laughs> they can't figure out who's going to come out here for kickoff. They're going to send Slade Perry and Zach, Zach Zundel Zundel. back. Max and Strat Malloy will be kind of the up men. Tag Thrash and is that Aiden Hall over there? Might be. No, Elliot Hemphill looks like on the far side. I'm assuming they're going to onside this. No, they didn't. That's fine. They're going to kick it out of bounds, though. The overrated chance have started. Not many fans left to hear them, though. I think you got to. Boy, that, they emptied, didn't they? They did. You got a few mom and dads probably there in the middle, but not much left over there. It's a cold night, but I can tell you. Yep, nobody's left the Falcon side. And, man, the Falcons have traveled well tonight. It's full down below us, which is kind of be expected. It's what we do, but always just great fans. It says it's 57. It feels like 55. I'm going to call liar on that one. It feels they hadn't updated. <laughs> it feels like 42. It's, it, that wind's a little chilly. I think they have the temperature on the, the clock right now. It's 44. <laughs> Ty will kneel on this. He'll have to do it one more time unless they wait. Oh, look at that. Good job. They, they waited to start the 40-second clock until us. there won't be another snap. You don't have to. Boys, come on over. Let's line it up, sing this cool song, and get out of here with the 56-26 Falcon victory. Great win for your Falcons as we wrap up the Adobe Walls. The Adobe Wall Stonework second half. What a performance by the Falcons. You wanted to see how district would go. Number 10 ranked mule shoe. And you, did you like what you saw, Mr. Welch, on your birthday? I did. I saw a lot of things I liked today. Uh, number one, just to spreading the ball around. Number two, I don't think our defense jumped off sides all night, did they? One, one, time, time, one, time, one time, one time early. One time. I'll take that because it's been like five or six at least. Yeah. So, yes, that, that's much better uh, overall. But I think now we know, you know, where we sit in district. It's, I think Shallow Water and, and Dalhart's going to be your next ones that, that are really going to come into play. Dalhart took care of business tonight. I, I'm assuming they were way ahead at halftime against River Road. Shallow Water was off. So, um, yeah, this was a great ball game tonight. Uh, Falcons came out, uh, made a big statement early in the game, and just never looked back. Yeah, and DJ, another six-touchdown performance. Just overall a great night of – football a lot of guys getting involved i'll get you the scores here in just a second always one of my favorite times when we sing the school song
cool song done. So I jumped over a little camera work at the same time. Oh, so yeah. Always good. To... Man, and you know she's having a heck of a season and not – it kind of hurts my heart to see that they're going over for their school song now. Just nobody left over there to sing it with them. And so, so what's your thoughts on next week? <sighs> River Road. <laughs> At home. At home. <laughs> Not having a good year. Gonna. It, it's just gonna be all Falcons all night, and yeah. you, you just you hope that everything. You hope to get out of it healthy. You hope to, you know, just continue humming. I mean, this offense is clicking well. Um, defense had some really good moments tonight because this is a really good running attack that Muleshoe has, and I don't want to take anything away from them. And so, but for the most part, outside of some big plays, the defense really held up tonight. Yeah, no, I thought they did too. thought they did too, you know. Still susceptible a little bit in the middle, which we've talked a lot about. That's not in anything new. But I thought we played uh, much better in, in a lot of ways. And we made adjustments. Yeah. Uh, and I think that's a key uh, thing as well as making those adjustments. So, yeah, not much else to say. Just a dominating performance here in Mule Shoes. The Falcons uh, win this game uh, handily, 56-26. Uh, and what was rated as supposed to be a, a pretty big game, we suspected the Falcons would come off to a good start, and they did. And that kind of built, built their momentum for the rest of the game. And so, Stephen, any parting thoughts? No, I mean, I think this offense, with, with the Falcon offense, you have a chance any night. And I like our chances just from here on out. If, if this offense keeps clicking, the offensive line did an amazing job and not kept DJ upright. Um, I, I think there was only one time that his arm was hit once on a tip pass. I don't remember him even facing a sack tonight. And so just overall, great performance um, offensively, defensively. Got a lot of guys some reps tonight too. And you know, That's I, always a good thing. It is. And That's so, always a good thing. We'll make the drive home and get ready for River Road next week. It's always good to be home because you know what's good about the home press box? There's a heater in it. There's a heater in it. <laughs> there may not be an AC. But there's a heater. But there is a heater, which makes it nice come district whenever it starts. And this is football weather. Yeah. I, it finally I feels don't mind like it at all. It's not fine. at all. We, we joke about it here, but this finally feels like, hey, it's football weather. And so, so, hey, thanks, everybody, for joining in. We really do appreciate each and every one of you uh, that tune in. Uh, thanks so much for the, the messages tonight, the birthday wishes. Uh, I truly appreciate that as well. Thanks to our sponsors, as always. We've got a bunch of great sponsors. Hopefully, uh, give them some business. Uh, call them because uh, they're really good. Most of them have been faithful for years. We, we don't have to look for sponsors most of the time. Uh, we only have so many spots, and they just repeat it year after year. So we're really appreciative of that. But if you want to sponsor some volleyball, we do have some opportunity there. Absolutely. So if you or any, know anybody who want to sponsor some volleyball, reach out to us on Bushland FM on Facebook page, message us, or Chris at BushlandFM.com or Stephen at BushlandFM.com. Uh, sorry. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, let us know, and uh, we'll, we'll definitely get you hooked up. So thanks so much. Before we cut loose, local legend outfitter player of oh, the game. Oh, we almost forgot. You know, Tanner, DJ ripped it away from Tanner last week despite a four-touchdown performance, but I think tonight Tanner Adams' 59-yard touchdown catch, Tanner Adams' 63-yard touchdown catch, close to 200 yards in return yardage on top of what he did um, in the game. I think it's pretty safe to say Tanner Adams, local legend player of the game. Yep, I agree. Tanner Adams, congratulations. Uh, great job tonight. And uh, what an effort. What an effort. There's so many we could pick. I'm telling you, Kate Gavinia had a great night. Dawson Jaco, another. Uh, Kate Gavinia had a quiet great night, too. Yeah, three touchdowns. You know, he scored the first one. He, right. had that, he took that screen pass 55 yards. And then here at the end, he, you know, he got that jet sweep for 15 yards yep. after uh, Max touchdown got called back. And then uh, he had the 23-yard touchdown catch there. Um, to kind of close out the scoring for the night. But, yeah, you look up, and there's just a lot of weapons. Zach Zundel making a great catch, getting in the end zone. 
Um, him, Zach Zundel being healthy makes this offense even more lethal. And he's a great shutdown corner over there. He's, um, you know, he played safety last year. So corner, as he's gotten healthy, he's also learning a position that he hadn't played in a while. And he's do and tonight just fantastic job. So yeah, absolutely. Well, once again, thanks everybody for joining us. We're going to get packed up here and get on the road. It takes us a little while to get packed up too. So we're going to get on the road. We sure appreciate you, and uh, as always, Go Falcons! <laughs>